Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> Aubrey Albert. Sorry. I'm a big fan of your name, by the way. My name? Yeah, I just I like names with like if they start with B and then end with B, you know, I, I same know first saying, and last yeah. name I have letter. That thing too. I have that thing too. I like when people's names do that. Yeah. And I guess my name does that. Too. Like Jack Johnson. It, it just it's something good, about yeah. it flows. Well, thank you. <laughs> I got it from my mom. She gave it to me. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's Im- that's incredible. <laughs> that's what I always say whenever people say like I like your haircut. It's like thanks. I grew it myself. Yeah, and they're just like, "What? Did he just say that?" And you're just like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. It's like one of those witty things that if you like can come up with it. I mean, you're not coming up with it <laughs> organically or anything, but if Perfect somebody's timing. yeah, exactly. You're just like, oh, I can use this right now. It's like a witty response. <laughs> My, I, I was listening to a podcast the other day. And I thought this was hilarious. And this guy, I've listened to more of the podcast since then. But whenever people are referencing age and kind of like physical appearance, which comes up more than you think it would. But he, he, was, he had a guest on that was 27. And the guest is like, yeah, it's my 27th birthday today. He's like, oh, congratulations. You have the body of a 26-year-old. I just thought that was so fucking <laughs> funny. <laughs> I don't get it. It's just what? like, <laughs> who can tell the difference between a body of a 26-year-old oh, okay, and a 27-year-old? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's just, it's just so stupid. <laughs> I don't even know how I would reply to that. I'd be like, thank you, I guess. <laughs> Better than having the body of a twenty-eight-year-old, I guess. If yeah. You know, maybe I don't know. Some people clean it up too. Some people maybe go some, through some transformations between twenty-six and twenty-eight. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I feel like those age sounded a lot different though. Like twenty-six, I feel like you still are seem kind of younger. Twenty-eight, you sound so like old. That is a big transition. Yeah. That's so scary. Maybe, maybe your body does change. I hope not. <laughs> It's a good thing. I've heard the peak is around 25. With like your, I don't know if that's like physical appearance or like athletically. I feel like that's changing though. I feel like I see a lot of older people and I look at younger pictures of them and I think they look better in their like 50s and 40s than they did in their 30s and 20s. Like they obviously look younger, but I think they look like hotter or better. In their 30s? When they're older. Like, they're more much something about them. I'm just like, I think you look better. I have, uh, honestly, I, I get what you're saying because I thought once you got, like, after 30, you just kind of, like, don't, you're not attractive Fall. anymore. <laughs> like, you just go way downhill real quick. Balding, like, fat, yeah. <laughs> no, straight up, like, the girls that keep it together and they're, like, mid 30s, they're, there's something more attractive about yeah. them. It's, I agree. It's that, like, like, maturity. Like, I, yeah. Yeah. That's a that's how I feel. I'm just like I think you're prettier now than you were, but not as like girly, you know, like they're a woman. It's something it it's something about the way they carry themselves and also I think that mature look. Mm-hmm. The mature look, yeah. I have a friend who had like a theory. He was struggling with girls down here in college and this is like a good friend of mine. This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm not gonna name drop right now because that'd be disrespectful to him, but he, he was, like, struggling with girls in college down here, and then he goes home, and he would, like, all these, like, 35-year-old moms would just be, like, super into him, and he's told me stories, and, like, he's, I guess he's right, I don't know, but he's like, man, I just think I'm too mature for these college girls, and <laughs> I think all the moms are into me, and maybe maybe that's just where I'm supposed to end up. Maybe I I'm mean, supposed to marry somebody 10 years older than me or something I mean, like that. why not? I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, right? College girls, yeah. That, like, he was having trouble getting them, and then he could just get all the older ones. He, I don't I don't know what his problem was. I don't know. They oh. were just, I, I think they were, like, they would kind of play with him a little bit. I was going to say, they probably weren't as focused as the older girls were. The older girls are, like, not, they don't have all this time on their hands, you know. So they're just, like, they see something, they want it, they go for it. And the younger ones are just, like, mm. Just ditzing yeah. around, just, like, yeah. whatever. <laughs> looking at their handful like oh who i want to talk to that's probably more like it yeah well i would not to bring the conversation selfishly to myself no. but i want to point out the fact i want to point out two things this is my last night in this house and the last podcast in this studio oh, really? which is crazy and also, the reason I'm not wearing socks right now, which if you were if you were to look below here, is because <laughs> I packed up all of my shit yesterday 
and forgot uh, any pairs of socks, so I'm probably going to have to bum some off my roommates. You for, you packed? Where are you going? My life's in shambles. I don't, where, where are you going? Uh, St. Louis. Oh, I'm, like, so moving you're like back moving. tomorrow. Yeah, I'm moving like, tomorrow. Like, gone. if you... Well, I guess you just graduated. Yeah, like, my room's right up there. Everything's out of it Whoa. now. That's, yeah. like, a big change. Your life's about to just, like, dramatically change. Isn't that crazy? Tomorrow. Yeah, that is crazy. Wow. It's probably the most... I don't know, this or, like, going to college or, like, the most pivotal times in your life, you it's know? It's like a new chapter, like, you're turning a page. And you gotta figure shit out. You got a lot more, uh... I don't know, at the graduation ceremony yesterday, every single adult asks you... Like, y- your friends are like, what are you doing after college? Like, that's the question they ask. But all the adults are like, do you have a job? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, no, I don't. I'm going to Europe. But they, they like that response. Like, every no adult has been like, no, you should get a job instead. Yeah. Like, they're all, like, very supportive of that. And they a lot of them tell me, almost regretfully, they'll say, oh, I wish I would have done that when I was your age. And I think there's a lot of truth there. So I I'm really like happy I'm doing it. perfect time, yeah. Getting a you can get a job when you come back. I mean, or you can find something on the way. Like there's so many opportunities that could open up, and you're living life. Like I don't know. Jeez, yeah, I would. Yeah, traveling to Europe, going backpacking. That sounds so fun. That's how I see it as well. It's the way to do it. I think a lot of people hop straight into a job, and this might be judgmental of me to say, but it's almost like fear based. Like they're almost like stressing they out so much, and they're like. I need to figure it out. I need to, and it's like, they're, they're kind of like rushing the process a lot more instead of just like more so going with the flow. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. I feel like that, like, okay, not that I would have any knowledge off of any of this stuff, but from like what I would think, I feel like that's how you would just get stuck in like a position somewhere. Like you would end up like fast forwarding 40 years and maybe you like had like five promotions since then, but I don't know. I feel like that would just get you stuck. But I see what you mean. Like, people just want, like, that security. So they're just like, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to start working my way up. But I don't know. You got to live on the edge sometimes. 100%. <laughs> and I feel like I'm chasing the opposite of security, like, chasing adventure more. You have to. I saw something about that today. It was like, you have to make somebody uncomfortable to make them move or something like that. Mm. But, like, it was not, like, being literal. Like, I'm, like, trying to make you uncomfortable so you get out of my way. But, like, making you out of your comfort zone so like you'll move forward or something like that well i hope i'm making you uncomfortable right now oh yeah because we were strangers <laughs> about an hour ago so yeah, that's okay <laughs> so i hope i'm making you uncomfortable to help you move, move forward, forward and good. progress through life right now this was yeah this is definitely out of the comfort zone of anything i've done hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah and I'm, I'm happy you came i'm happy you came i am too i'm glad that i did actually would you pull the mic just a little yeah. bit closer to you here yeah right? okay do you want to hear how how i like like a, a good segue, how I kind of like came across your page even because it was a yeah. shot in the fucking dark. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, this was like okay. So I've never been on TikTok before. Okay. Like not too many people my age go on TikTok, but I I scroll on TikTok and I had probably gotten it like two hours before this or something like that, and I'd watched like forty TikToks. Brand new, yeah. Yeah, just like swiping through, and then I get on my phone again. I see your TikTok. I go to your profile, and I'm like. Okay, like, wow, this girl's, like, blown up in just a little bit, which we can talk about in a second. <laughs> but I'm, like, interesting, interesting. And then so I, I was curious what your, like, Instagram following was like because you had so many followers on TikTok. So I went to your page, and then I saw University of Arkansas. And I was like, no fucking way. Okay. We're pretty close, yeah. Yeah, and then you ended up being literally in Springfield. I live here, yeah. I live in Springfield, Missouri. Like, what are the odds of that? That's crazy. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I feel like TikTok does show you people from around your area my little sister said that they do something with the location settings i was gonna say because either that or missouri comes up on my for you page a lot and i'll see things that reference st louis schools and none of my friends get it but since i used to go to school there i'll be like yeah this can't just be showing up on somebody in california's because nobody's gonna like care what people at a certain school think of another school like or understand it in what way at all but I do think it shows like people ne- like that are kind of surrounding you. But I'm not sure. There, that would make sense. That would make sense. Because sometimes, yeah, I'll see people that I know. Oh my gosh, the amount of people that I knew who were like, oh my gosh, I saw you on the for you page. People that I used to hang out with like sent it to me, 
they were like, this is you. People were like, oh, my God, I found your twin on TikTok. Check this girl out. And I was like, and, it ends and up they being send you? it to me and they go, wait, that's you. Like, that's <laughs> your name. And I was like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> And but it would my future one of my future roommates in Arkansas actually sent it to me and was like for me my f- yeah my for me <laughs> <laughs> she was like you're on my for you page and I was like boo I, I don't know it's kind of weird like it's kind of like what you know so I do think it's location based because like other th- or it's just like a really big coincidence that everyone's like seen it back it's and it's definitely some data collection. <laughs> yeah. I think Instagram does the same thing, especially based off, like, people you follow. Because I'll, I'll go to accounts sometimes, and it's, like, 60 people you know. Yeah, that's true. It'll They, like, suggest it because they think it'll appeal to you more. Mm-hmm. That's true. There are, like, some conspiracies with the Chinese government. Have you heard any of these? No. With TikTok? Like, okay, I've heard just keep talking because like i might have the chinese government something somehow because it's a it's originated by some chinese company so the chinese government having their foot in the door with tiktok and collecting all of these americans data and i mean not just americans mm. specifically but people all over the yeah. world and like their data and a lot of people are like scared they're using it against us or something with that what would they do with it i mean maybe that hack the elections true. i was gonna say but what would they do with it Ooh, china's ooh, that government Mm. They could be up to so much. Like, I don't know. It's kind of scary to think about. Them in Russia, you never know. Like, they could be hiding anything. I feel like those are the two most feared here in the United States. Yeah. We're probably the same way to them, I though. was going to say, but we are probably just as scary. <laughs> yeah. They don't know what we're doing. Are we don't know what we're doing. I think they're, yeah, they kind of touch borders. So they're probably homies, and we're just over here on the other side of the ocean. Oh, there's a map. I was like, what is that? I thought you were just <laughs> looking at the soccer players. I'm just like, is that like telling him where somebody's at? Okay. <laughs> no, I had a vision. I had a vi- I'm like, that's so Raven. I was like. You just stare up. <laughs> China and Russia are touching borders. Okay, I'm back. That's what I thought. I was like, what is he looking at right now? <laughs> <laughs> Photographic memory. You're just like recalling it in the back of your head. Swear to God, my little sister has that. She's able to look at a credit card for no exaggeration, five seconds or less, and have the, that entire bitch memorized. It's insane. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> I know, right? I need to start doing that, yeah. That would be nice, actually. Every time I'm, like, checking somebody out, just, like, look at their credit card for a little bit, and then I'd be like, all right, bet. Yeah. <laughs> you're just, every single time, you just write them all <laughs> yeah. down. They're just like, why are you looking at my card? And I'm just like, oh, just no worries, one second. <laughs> <laughs> What's your zip code again? If you could just tell me really fast. <laughs> you just got, you have, like, an Excel spreadsheet just, like, in your <laughs> yeah. mind. Just like, all right, I'll put that on row, row <laughs> A, column B. Literally, it gets so much. Yeah, everyone's like, where did my credit card get hacked from? It's like, I don't know. It was that it's little crazy. blonde girl <laughs> yeah. as the cashier that <laughs> one day. No girl. way. That's what she was doing. <laughs> That'd be impressive. That'd be impressive. That'd be a nice thing to have. Tell your little sister I need to know. Tell her to teach me. I need to memorize credit cards. You need her <laughs> secrets? You need yeah. her tricks? I need the tricks. I don't know if she's like got some trick on how to memorize it or if she just has a crazy good memory. I've never asked her. What it is? Yeah. Maybe it's a crazy good memory. If that's what it is, then I'm kind of out of luck. But if there's a trick, I'm willing to try it out. Just fingers crossed. See, fingers Hopefully crossed. it's a trick. <laughs> yeah. She saw something on YouTube, and she's, like, using it, and knows how to memorize everything now. And she's just, like, messing with everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's like She's the Russian government. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, apparently, a lot of people have a super memory, and it, it really is based off a lot of tricks and just methods or whatever on how to actually get there. I must be doing the exact opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> I can never remember anything. I'm the same way. Nothing. You know how we were talking about selective hearing? Selective memory is a thing, too. <laughs> I've heard that's true, yeah. And, yeah, apparently I don't select much. But that makes you look bad then, because if people say, oh, it's selective, they're just like, oh, so you didn't want to remember. And I'm just like, no. It's a good point. <laughs> yeah. It's a good point. But, like, in the back of my mind, I'm just like, okay, yeah, but I don't want it to look like that. So it's like, yeah, I didn't see it as that important, but, uh. Especially with names. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's good at remembering names. Or if somebody tells you, I was talking to this kid, and he was like, I was telling him about something, and I didn't think he was paying attention, and he was talking to me about his sister, and I remember the next day he recited, like, everything I said to him, and then I asked him a question that I had asked him that same day that was, like, a basic question, like, what's her name, or something like that, and I was, like, asking the name of his sister, and he knew, 
where mine grew up, what her son's name was, like all this stuff. And I was like, wow, that makes me look bad. And he's just like zoning <laughs> off while you're talking. Yeah, and he staring knew at all the ceiling. Of this. Yes. Yeah. But oh well. Impressive. Yeah. Impressive. <laughs> I felt so bad. Oh well. Well, do you want to talk about TikTok? Sure. Why not? Because you you have like blown up. Like I was looking at your page just, like a little bit before this, and you've kind of gone viral. Isn't I don't. People say that, but it's like weird because it's me, you know. So I'm just like I don't know. And for some reason, it seems like I posted the first video that went viral. I guess so long ago, and I was looking at it and it said four days. And I are, I'm at over six point something million views on it, and I think almost one million likes. And for some reason, it felt like it was so long ago, and I'm just like, wow, that's actually gone pretty fast. And that was only four days ago? Four days ago. Wow. Yeah, I had no idea. That's like the most surreal part to me. I'm just like, what? That's like not that long ago at all. I don't know. Wait, what, was the, what was the TikTok? It was of me and my mom. And it was like, okay, so there's trends on TikTok, so it's a song that's like, I know, I know, I know, in the background. Oh, I know that it's a uh, Deej Loaf. Yeah, I've noticed yeah. there are a ton of songs on TikTok that just keep getting reused in yeah. different creative ways. And people, Yes, so that's what I did, basically, because I can't dance. Everyone on TikTok, like all the girls, they always like dance and have all these things. I can't do that. I like that. how you tried, just to yeah. like show a little example. Well, I'm just showing you that I can't. Like, doing like, the arm swivel yes. thing. <laughs> So many people tell me, oh, you need to dance. I'm just like, no, I don't think that's going to get me anywhere in life because I cannot. I will have to, like, practice in the mirror for, like, hours. So I created, like, something that had – this one doesn't really have to do with dancing. But it's, like, you say something, and most of the time it was, like, famous people, and it's, like, mean comments, and they just, like, I know, I know, I know. And, like, I had, what, two followers, so they weren't – and one was my mom. So it's, like, they're not talking <laughs> anything mean on my posts. And so I wait, wait, before this one that went viral, you literally had like just a no. few followers? Yeah, I had nothing. I had like a couple videos with a friend that I sit next to in my history class. And like, yeah, that's all we had. And wow. I had like four followers, I think. And then I literally went to bed, woke up and had like 7,000 and like some views. And then it's just like gone up since then. And my Instagram's gotten like a lot more followers too i had like three thousand. i don't know how many i have but i knew that it went up like a lot mm -hmm. that i wouldn't have guessed because i knew whenever i followed you i you were like right around four thousand, and then like i i looked just because i i noticed i think i like i like to look at people's instagram accounts before having them on so it's like oh what can i talk to them about you know it's like oh they like hunting i'll, I'll bring that <laughs> up at some point but I, I saw your follower count. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like went up. Yeah. It went up like a thousand since like two days ago. It's insane. Yeah, I know. I can't. Ooh, I don't. <laughs> Somebody like it literally makes me like nervous because I just like it's such like a weird thing. Every time I get on my phone, it's like I've kind of got, like I'll get on and it will say like, oh, plus 100 followers or I'll get on TikTok and it will be like a thousand people followed you. Four thousand people liked your video. And I just, like, That's look crazy. at it, and I'm just like, what? Like, it's weird. And people, like, notice, like, this hasn't happened to me, but my dad was in St. Louis, and somebody was talking about TikTok that he was at a restaurant with. It might have been his server. It might have been, like, a girl, like, that was near him. And he was like, oh, yeah, my daughter said she made one of those. And he, like, pulled it up, and she goes, oh, my God, like, I saw that. Like, I know her. I follow her. That's crazy. And my dad said that to me, and I was literally just like, That's weird i was like that's like crazy to think about like i don't know are you like are, i feel like if this happened to me i'd be between excited it's like okay this is cool like the this is kind of cool that all this is happening but at the same time it's like is this like invasive to privacy or like should i keep it going you know you get like both trains of thought it is it, there is like a lot of trains of thought because yeah there's a part of me that's like this is kind of cool but then there's also a part that's like temporary like i'm just like oh this is temporary it's been like four days like but then there's another part of me that's like what if it's not like what like what can i do to make this less temporary you know or like what could like i don't know and like yeah then the other parts like my dms there are so many and i think about everything now i'm just like okay so i posted i was here i was like w and tiktok does like surrounding areas and there's some weird people out there yeah good that part. like will dm me and stuff and i'm just like, like me like me yeah exactly yeah, yeah. And I was like, um, like, I was like, maybe I should post that after I leave. Or I'm just like, maybe I shouldn't post that. And like so many people have added me on Snapchat and I don't want to like 
and the process of like do i want to make this temporary do i want to try to like make this something i'm just like i don't want to not add all these people that are adding me on snapchat but i don't want them to see like what i post regularly you know Mm -hmm. like i don't want them to see me saying like happy birthday like i don't want them to see me like with my friends hanging out on the weekends or anything like that it's like a lot of things to consider that I just don't know the answer to. Like, yeah. who do you ask? Because before <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, my social media, I just got a few friends looking. Yeah, like, I don't care. I would post, like, the worst things or, like, things that maybe some other people would be like, why would you put that on the internet? And it's just like, I don't care. Like, what does it matter? And now I'm just like, I actually have no idea who's seeing this right now. <laughs> like, anybody seeing this? Like, it's so bad. But I love it at the same It's kind of like, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. I bet, I bet. Because there are definitely pros and cons to it. You get and like the people both sides. at your school, yeah, they'll be like, you don't know if people know, but like, I'll be sitting by somebody and randomly during class, they'll just like look at me and they'll be like, I saw you. And I'll be like, what? They'll be like, you were on my For You page on TikTok. And I was like, oh. And then I'll walk down the hallway and then I'll see somebody and that will be like somebody I don't know. And they'll be like, you were on my For You page. And I'm just like, oh. And then there's people that already knew me that are like, think it's weird too they're just like what like aubrey apparently she went viral or my friends from college they'll be like apparently she's on tiktok or something like that and they'll Uh ask me about it and i'll just be like i don't know what to say i'm just like not really but i guess i am like one video like kind of blew up and now it's like i'm getting these followers and i don't know what to do about it but i don't know especially it's so new it's less than a week ago yeah literally last saturday it was so long ago but no that's crazy it is crazy. It's like so insane. Oh, I feel like I would think about this. Is just this is in like advice, but I'm I'm thinking like trying to put myself in your shoes right yeah. now. I feel like what I would do is try to figure out what do I want to like. If, are there any platforms I want to keep personal? Are there are like just my friends? What do I want to show? What do I not want to show? Like th- th- I don't know. Like you said, there are a lot it's of like, questions yeah. to ask, especially how new this is for you. And there's, I don't know, there's no answers. That's what stinks. Like, there's literally no, like, on Snapchat. That's how, I was, like, considering that. I'm just, like, this is personal. Like, not that personal. There's, like, probably, like, 700 people that see my stories. But, like, still, that's the level of, like, I know that there's just some random people on there, but, like, there's a lot of people that I've met over my life that can see everything, and I'm perfectly fine with that. And then there will be, like, I have so many people adding me that one if somebody I know actually adds me on Snapchat, like a junior at my high school adds me on Snapchat, I would add them. Mm-hmm. But I don't know because, like, there's so many other people that do and I can't add them back. So they would literally have to come up to me and be like, hey, I added you on Snapchat, add me back or say something like that, which I'd be fine with. But I feel like there's so many people that, like, I won't be able to see now and I don't want to, like, cut that social media off because that's, like, a popular social media, you know? Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't know. Like you said, like, just I Snapchat, don't know. Snapchat, because, you know, if you have, like, Instagram accounts, you can easily just switch between the two. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Does Snapchat have that same feature? I don't think so. They you should. You have to sign out? That'd be, yeah, you'd have to all the way sign out. And I'm, with the bad memories, I would not remember that password. I don't even know my Snapchat password. Uh-huh. I rely on my iPhone scanning my face and typing <laughs> it in for me because I don't know. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, because I feel like you'd want the best of both worlds, but... Yeah. I don't know how that works. I don't know about a ton about Snapchat because I don't use it, but... I'm starting to use it less and less. I use it to, like, communicate with people, like, somewhat. But, like, I feel like when you're younger, you use it so much. You're just, like, constantly, like, wanting, like, 700-day streaks and everything. And, like, when you get older, you're just, like... I don't... I have, like... It's like, who gives a shit? Five, yeah, streaks, and they're, like, accidental. (laughs) Like, they're not (laughs) on purpose or anything like that. But I will, like, send pictures just to, like, keep conversations going. Or if it's the weekend, I'll, like, send out, like, a group snap just to, like, see what everyone's doing. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, so many questions. That's crazy how fast everything went. And my mom doesn't understand anything. So it's, like, with technology. She understands stuff. She doesn't understand, like, technology. And so she'll literally just – I'll tell her, like, oh, there's, like, six million views. And she's, like, you can tell, like – she knows it's a big deal, kind of, and then at the same time, she doesn't, and then at another time, she's just like, who cares, you know? Like, mm-hmm. it's like a combination. She doesn't know how to react to it, because she's just like, is this a big deal, or is it not a big deal? And I'm just like, it's not a big deal, but it's, like, kind of cool at the same time, you know? Like, it doesn't matter, but, like, people are watching this video right now, and people are, like, liking it, and, like, random people are seeing it, and it's like, I don't know, it's like, 
fun to see how she reacts to it. You're pretty you're pretty modest about it, which I respect. I don't I don't know. I don't think it's like I don't know. <laughs> like I feel like it just like happened mm-hmm. on social media. I don't see anything different from it at all. I don't it's it's like weird to explain because it's like you don't know any of the I'll people I'll see people comment and they'll say things like first or like I love you, please respond, something like that and I'll read that and I'll be like like oh that's like I'll this is gonna sound bad, but kinda like you know those fake Instagram like and follow things? Yeah, you can like yeah. pay for comments. That's what it looks like to me. So I just see it as like a like a computer application and it just like doesn't I don't know, it doesn't really like it's like pleasing to see like the numbers like high but it doesn't like affect like i don't feel anything from it Mm -hmm. i'm not just like yeah look at me look at me well there's actually (laughs) a lot of speculation that the the i don't know if tiktok the app or the chinese government or what but regardless that that app is kind of cluttered with robots like a lot of bots are on there i would not be surprised at all that thought has like gone through my head the fact and it also probably doesn't help the fact that i went from like zero followers to 90 something thousand in four days but the yeah that would not surprise me at all if there was because it just seems like a little too like what you know and i also heard something that they try to make people viral to get hooked I, I wouldn't be surprised. Which I, is like I know smart. I posted and I got like 900 views, 500 views, and like 600. Within and you're just like, whoa. I'm the like, same deal. I have like yeah. 10 followers or something now on there. And it ma- Yeah, and it makes you like kind of addicted. You're just like, hmm, like what if I post it again? Like mm-hmm. all this stuff. And like I saw that and that was before I had ever posted because I was so against TikTok at first. I was like, that's stupid. Like my sister shoved it down my throat, was trying to get me to like download it and i was like that's literally dumb like i'm not downloading that app i was the exact same way and my friends i saw dog tiktoks that's why i kept i downloaded that app because somebody (laughs) sent me a dog tiktok i was like that is so cute and then i like started watching all these dog tiktoks and then my for you page was less dogs and more like people my age which i don't know why that happened that's kind of sad but so i started seeing people my age which made me be like i would see these people and i'd be like if they can get famous and i'd see people at my school and I would say, like, they could get famous. They could go viral. They could go viral. And I would, like, think that in my head. And then, like, nobody really takes it seriously. So I was thinking about my mom. And my mom is hot. She's a MILF. I get, like, <laughs> I've never gotten, like, there's not a single person that doesn't tell me, like, oh, your mom's so hot. Like, oh, I'd, like, so get with your mom. They'll be like, is your mom single? Like, I've gotten that my whole life. Ever Even since your female friends? School. Your not girlfriends my friends. are still? Okay. They still think my mom's hot. But they're not trying to, like get with her you know they're not like trying to pipe they don't say oh i'd pipe your mom but Uh like so many guys like say that as a joke and everything so i was thinking in my head i was like my mom could go viral and i was like i don't know how to put my mom in a tiktok without making her like not stiff because like it's a middle-aged woman like you've seen them with technology they're like stiff and they're just like moving and i'm just like how do i put her in something so i that's like why i came up with the idea of that i know i know i know thing and i had her come in it and like so many people like comment about my mom. Some of them are pretty, some of them are funny because they're so mean. And I just like laugh and I like tell her I'll be like yelling to the house like, "Mom, someone says you look like you use too much Botox." And I'll just like yell <laughs> at the house. And she'll be like, "Are you serious?" And I'm just like, "Yeah." And she goes, "I don't even use Botox." And I'll be like, "Well, you look like you use too much Botox." And I think it's funny. Just keep giving her shit yeah, about <laughs> it. Oh, so that's funny. funny. But that's that's why I like I literally was like, "You could go viral," and that's why I did that TikTok. So you thought it through beforehand. I just thought my mom could go viral. And yeah. you were right. Yeah. Well, wow. I was thinking. I didn't know. I did not think it was gonna get like as blown up as it did. But I was thinking, you know, like. Oh, this might get on somebody's for you page. This might get like two thousand likes on it. I remember I saw and I was telling my sister before I went to bed the night that I posted it. It's almost got like five hundred likes. Like it's got uh it's got two thousand views, Madison. Like I was talking to my sister, giving her like crap about it. And then I woke up and like she texted me, she was like, Dude, you're at like almost this amount of views and I remember thinking like, Oh, it'd be so cool if I reached a hundred K and ever since then it's just been like now it's like, oh, it'd be so cool if I reached a million likes. Like, it keeps going up and up and up and up. And right. I just, like, keep thinking, oh, there's no way this is going to happen. And then, like, it happens. And I'm just like, what? Like, it's crazy. Just promise me if 
you are like three months down the road having a lot of success on this, they do not get lost in the likes. Because I feel like you have a very modest approach no. right now. <laughs> yeah. But it's still so new, you know? I don't... I'm just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm too, like, laid back as a person. I don't, I could never see that. So many people have said that to me. I do it as a joke. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll act like there's this kid that's in one of my classes, and he, before, like, any of this TikTok, we made, like, a weird one, and he was in it, and then he posted one of another guy in the class. And we were like, let's see whose gets more likes, like, as a joke. And both of them got, like, I think mine got more likes, but it was, like, six and like four and like they had like no views and that was like the same night that i posted the one of me and my mom and so now every time i see him i go in class and was like huh, so yeah i got like five million views now so it's like no <laughs> big deal or anything and he's just like shut up <laughs> that's it's funny. funny but i could never yeah i don't know i'm too laid back i don't know i don't actually care that much like i think it's cool but it's not like i value it mm -hmm. you know so I noticed you put your cash app in the description. <laughs> is that does that work? Have you gotten any money? Okay, so I'm actually am working on that right now. Uh -huh. But it's because so many people like will say, "Can I send you money?" And like I'm just like I'm they not going to say, say no. Yeah, and I'm just like I'm not going to say no. And like certain people like there's somebody that sent me hasn't yet but is going to send me a demo of his client's music or something like that to use in the background of one of my TikToks. And I was like, they were like, how much do you want for this? And I don't know. I literally said $10 because I was like, I don't know. Oh, like, you could get more than that probably. I have, yeah, I have no, but I don't think I'm, I don't know. So I'm just like, I feel bad. I would do it for free, honestly, because I'm just like, I don't know, like 10 bucks. I don't know what to say. And that's how there's this, <laughs> there's this other guy who this is exposing, just like wanted a video of me calling him a loser. And three hundred and forty dollars for it, yeah. So that's why my cash apps in my bio, <laughs> yeah. Because why not? Like, that's more money than I make at my job. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. He wanted. Th did you do it? Just send, like, what did you say? Just hey, you're a fucking loser. I'm waiting on my down payment. Oh, I took the video in public. Somebody watched me as my sister because I look nothing like my sister. She was like, "Are you related to her?" And she was like, "Yeah." She was like, "What are you? What is she doing?" And my sister was like some guys offering her money to degrade him in a video and i was like well if somebody's gonna give me 340 bucks to say you're a loser give me your money i'll do it <laughs> like, okay. can we talk about that what the <laughs> fuck is up with that i've heard of this like i've heard of girls getting into this like online thing and and like yeah there's like the you know like potentially pornographic kind of type that like girls will strip on the internet clear from that <laughs> yeah yeah but there's but there's also like you this weird culture anything. of yeah. like them of you just degrading them just belittling them and they will send you money i do not get that but like why not like i i have a finsta like one of those fake instagrams and i screenshotted like a conversation with somebody and it was like basically saying like hey this is what i like to do can you send me a video saying this and i posted it on my story for like there's like under 100 followers on maybe a little over i don't know but I was like, is this okay to do? I was literally like, is this, like, an okay thing to do? Because I didn't know, and I'm not going to ask my mom. My mom's going to be like, what? But everyone said yes. There's, like, two people that said no. And I was like, well, majority rules, so going to go ahead and take my opportunity. But I sent I sent the video, and then it didn't work. And so I thought about it. I like I, like, did a business consideration, and I unsent it. And then he was like, why would you unsend it? And I was like... First of all, how much money are we talking? And he told me an amount. And then I was like, okay, I want this much before I send it. And then I'll send it and I'll send it after. And I would never, like, that makes it sound like I'm sending, like, bad things. I would never send anything, like, taking clothes off, saying anything, like, that could look bad. I literally would not send anything that if it got leaked, I would be, like, wanting to, like, well, kill myself or something. Yeah, like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with yeah. you saying... Hey, fucking you're a loser. loser. Yeah, you're a loser. <laughs> give me all your money. <laughs> like, my name's Aubrey, and you're going to give me your money. Like, I'll tell you that all day if you're going to pay me. Like, you know why? Because once if that were to get leaked, it's like, yeah, let me give me $340. <laughs> yeah, Would that's you what do the I same shit? Thinking. That's like, what I was thinking. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, going to, like, take my clothes off, and I'm not going to do anything sketchy, but I'll get behind a camera and tell you you're a loser. <laughs> like, why not? <laughs> hey, Aubrey. Can you call me a loser? 
How much? How much are we talking? Five dollars <laughs> down payment. Honestly. And then ten to follow. After there we go. <laughs> Honestly, even if people were to say that amount, like I'd be like, yeah, sure. Like, what am? What's it taking out of my day? <laughs> like, okay, you're a loser. I mean, you think about that. Like, <laughs> let's say it takes ten seconds to make the video. You're making fifteen dollars. Multiply, like, do the math to figure out yeah. how much you're getting paid an hour. Like. And That's if they have, like, fact. other friends who, like, like the same thing, they could be like, yo, look at this girl. Or, like, Maybe I you can call friend. some people a punk. Yes. Who knows? Maybe <laughs> yeah. you can call some Maybe people a... Maybe you can get a little risque. You're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> You're stupid. Yeah. You, well, if you if you really go off the deep end, maybe start fat shaming a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Hey, you fat, <laughs> ugly freak. Yeah, I could... Hey, you <laughs> fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I had a friend, and I, I don't know, like, the whole basis. She was from Malibu. She went to my school in St. Louis. And I know that she got into that some way. She had, like, a lot of followers because she was friends with, like, some, like, famous people. Not, like, famous by name, but you look at them on Instagram and they're, like, verified. So it's, like, known people. And she had, like, a good amount of followers. And she would get, like, East St. Laurent purses and stuff like that. And she didn't live with her mom. And she didn't, like... I was friends with her, so I'd, her mom would, like, Venmo her, like, money whenever she needed it, but not, like, enough to do that. And I was like, how do you get this stuff? And she was like, literally, that's what she was doing. She was like, yeah, these guys, they just send me money to, like, send videos of me saying stuff. And at first I was like, what? Like, how do you even get into that? And then that guy sent me the first one and was like, asked me to do that. And I was like, hmm, I was like, I've seen this go pretty well for some people, and I don't want to spend it, though. Like, I would just save it for college, honestly. They'd be yeah, like, how yeah. are you, like, living comfortably in college without a job? I'm just like... I send videos calling people ugly and stupid. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crazy culture to me. That's insane. I don't understand it. Apparently, there's a name. There, he told he told me he was like, I don't know. He was like, I'm a I forgot the name, but he goes, I just I like sending people to I like sending people money, and I'm trying to find somebody to send money to. And I was like, shit. I was like, I'm your girl. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. here <laughs> I am. <laughs> like, okay. So I put it in my bio. I was like, oh, here's my cash app. And then people will ask, like, what's your cash app for? And, like, some of them I don't answer because the way they ask it, I'm just, like, not for that. But there are people that will send me, like, music or, like, be sending me products. They'll be like, oh, because it kind of shows that you're into, like, in collaborating with people to get, like, money from it. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know. It's like a business move. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%. That's it, yeah. And that would be the fun part. Like, now that you have this new following – I don't know, just so many more doors have opened up. That's insane. Yeah, I've already gotten quite a bit. Like, I'm doing a podcast. Like, to me, this is, like, this is, like, cool. Like, mm -hmm. this is, like, cool to me. And I got $80 worth of products sent to me from another website. And then a teeth whitening website sent me, which I know a lot of people do the teeth whitening, but sent me, like, a free thing because they want me to, like, post on my Instagram story about it. And then random dudes offering me money like so many <laughs> i don't know it's like That's opened crazy. up a, within four days so it's like yeah insane i don't even know some guy offered to fly me out to italy or fly in to america to meet me which this was like just a weird guy it would never he mm -hmm. started telling me that he was gonna manage me and i was like and he like had a big following and i was like shoot yeah but he must have been bought or something because it turned into not fly me out to Italy to do work, but fly me out to, like, hang out with them. And I was like, no, I'm not going to. I'm like, you can fly me out to Italy, but I don't know if I'm going to meet up with you at some point. I'm like, That's why whenever I message you, I'm like, I want to prove that I'm legitimate. Because <laughs> like, I've been doing this for two and a half years. Like, I just genuinely enjoy talking to people. I think it's such a cool hobby. But, yeah, I was like, okay, how do I do this? Because, like, obviously I'm a dude. How do I do this on social <laughs> media without being creepy? You had proof. The mm -hmm. way you did it good, I'm trying to think. You were just like, you even said not to seem stalkerish or something like that. And then I looked, you were like, you can look at my profile, like I make these podcasts. And so I did, and I found like your podcast. And I was like, oh, this is this is legit. This is an actual dude. Like, he's not just going to. And like, it's kind of cool what you do. I was listening to some of them, which I was just like listening to the ones on Instagram and like showing my mom and stuff. And like, you were funny, like you were saying some funny things. And it seemed like you had genuine, interesting conversations, not just like what people listen to in the car, old people, because that's what I thought podcasts were. And uh -huh. then I heard, like, I knew, like, a lot of the people started getting into it, and then I heard yours. I was like, yeah, it sounds kind of interesting. This is kind of cool that he does this. And so I was like, yeah, I want to be on one of these. That's cool. Hell yeah. And you're enjoying it so far? Yeah. 
it's like a lot more comfortable than I would have thought. Cause I was like pulling up here and I was thinking, I'm just gonna sit there and I'm not gonna know what to say and like all of this. But it's like comfortable, yeah. That's uh, that's hilarious you say that. Cause the joke I made about making you un so uncomfortable <laughs> so that you can like strive forward or whatever. If I if I just say like my number one goal when I'm doing this is just to, you know, make feel make people feel comfortable, make make them. I don't know, just feel comfortable sitting down and having a conversation with An me. An actual conversation and pretending like, like there's not like a mic and I'm not listening to everything I say, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it feels, yeah. And it's definitely a flow thing. Like, did you notice that whenever we like first, I don't know, like the first five minutes I've noticed, especially whenever I'm like kind of meeting people, which again, I haven't done this like a ton, but whenever I'm kind of meeting people right off the bat, the first few minutes it's not like uncomfortable or anything at least not on my end Very but it's just stationary hey my name is this how are you nice to meet you like, exactly you know, like what you learn in spanish like when you're in high school that's like what you do in the first <laughs> <laughs> that's a great comparison that's literally what it is habla me llamo Aubrey. That is so funny. Como estas? <laughs> e too? Like, literally, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> that's so funny. That is the most accurate thing I've heard all day. But that's the weird thing about, like, like rapport. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you, you, it's such a flow kind of thing. And it, it takes, like, a little bit, I feel like. But I don't know. Once you kind of fall into that, like, rapport. Like, you know what I mean by that? Just, like, really, like, feeling that, that comfort <laughs> level or whatever you want to describe yeah, it I with somebody. Sure. At it's first, it was a word that I didn't understand, and I thought you said, we're poor. And I was like, <laughs> what is that? Hey, we're not <laughs> poor. We got random dudes. Or you <laughs> got random dudes. Not me. You got random yeah, dudes sending you that. money to call him a loser. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, I don't know what that has to do with anything that we were just talking about, but yeah. And then I was like, okay, that was just like a word that he was using. <laughs> and then you're like, I don't know if you knew what you mean. And I was like, did I give it away that I didn't know what that word meant with my face or something? Okay. <laughs> I caught on. But yeah, definitely, like, once you get into, like, the middle of it i feel like that's when the podcast gets more fun though 100 like, percent. yeah when you're not thinking about everything that's going on but you're just like vibing i guess yeah <laughs> I th yeah i feel like vibing's a good word like kind of flowing flowing just going riding the flowing. roller coaster of yeah, life there you go there you go riding the roller coaster of life <laughs> i'm still mind blown i'm sorry to bring this up again that is just crazy like why would somebody want you to just tear them down do you think it's like a midlife crisis response I, I, I was trying to think whenever he sent me this what kind of person in life this was because you know how you meet like all kinds like even if like i don't know if you work anywhere but if you worked in a restaurant the people that work in the restaurant there are all kinds of different personalities and like you only see them at work and if you see them outside of work or you find them on social media they are a whole different kind of person than what they are at work Mm -hmm. So when this guy's like messaging me, I'm trying to think what kind of person seeks out someone such as like myself and is like, this is what I want. And I'm going to offer you like a decent amount of money for you to like not even do anything. Like I'm not even like it's not Kim Kardashian. I'm not like selling my body or anything like or shouldn't do that. But like she like had a sex tape. Like, I'm literally these videos of my face talking, and who want like, I don't understand. that. My mind was blown, too. I was like, you're actually, like, legitimate about this? Because that's what I had told them. I was like, I want money first. And I'm thinking, like, this is when I'm going to catch them because they're not actually going to send me money for this. And they're like, okay. And I was like, whoa. I was like, they're serious. <laughs> I was like, they're not joking around. This is, like, real life right here. And I still can't figure out what kind of person it is. No shame. That's I mean, a good hey, question to ask. Yeah. What kind of what kind of person is if this? That's what you like. Hey, I'll send you videos degrading you. I just Swear. don't understand <laughs> that. I don't get how that is something you like. Yeah, no kidding. You're paying me to make fun of you. I don't. I don't know. Some psychological issue. It's like, I I, do you know. by chance know this name? You may make my night if you do. Do you know who Cody Ko is? No. Ah. I wish I, I wish I could have said yes. <laughs> I was like, say yes. <laughs> <laughs> or Noel Miller. No. Possibly. No. Okay. No big deal. Who are they. they? They they're pretty much like two YouTubers that just roast the fuck out of people online. Well, yeah, they might hit up the right crowd. They can make some more. They probably do if you know their names. But <laughs> apparently, people like it. I'm sure those people don't. But like, apparently, people like it. They like. Well, I've seen things about it, like people making fun of like 
parodies of those kind of people, I think. Mm -hmm. And, like, people make fun of, like, they they have, like, they grew up and, like, their moms were, like, mean to them. And so now, like, they have these issues and they like women to do that. And they needed them to pay them to, like. Oh. Yeah. And so I'm thinking maybe that's. But at the same time, I don't want to say that because, like. $340, $340, you don't have a psychological problem to me, like, <laughs> that's perfectly, that's sane to me, you can keep doing that, like, what? I feel like, m- like, get in, make some money, and then at some point be like, so why do you like this? I don't yeah. know, if, if you're curious make, enough. Make the uh, relationship, you know, and then I'd be like, so why does this turn you on? Like, yeah. why do you send me half your pay? You think that's what it is, though? You think it's sexual? Like, these dudes are, like, getting off to this? I mean, why would why I else would they send the money? I don't know why else they would want. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say I just don't know what else because there's like a few things that like drive people, and it's like money. I don't know. You've heard people say that, correct? That mm-hmm. saying, I can't remember it. But like, sex desire is one of them, and I'm thinking like this is not benefiting you in any way. If anything, it's like not like literally unbenefiting you, like deficiting your benefits from like someone degrading you and you're giving me money for it it's like an artificial rejection and like yeah, an artificially but they tearing love them it. down and so like i'm thinking it has to do something for them desire wise like it it would have to right yeah i don't, I don't I know don't. i don't know what else the motive would be you know like you <laughs> think you think it'd be the opposite you think it'd be like i don't know say their name's trayvon it's like Hey Trayvon, I just wanted to say you are so cute. You know, like something yeah, like that. Literally, that's what, and I probably wouldn't even do that. Like, I don't even think I would say their name. In that vid- in the video that I sent, it was literally I said my name. This is my name. You're a loser, and you're gonna send me your money. Like that's literally what I said. And like, yeah, if that <laughs> if that gets leaked, I could literally just say, oh, yeah, I sent that to my friend. <laughs> like literally. But, yeah, I don't know why people – the thing. If anybody knows, I mean, <laughs> maybe I'll start asking around. I'll be like, so. I'll Google it later. These are going to get start getting <laughs> really weird. It's like, yeah. hey, can you deepen your voice for the next one? <laughs> Literally, I'll be like, sure. <laughs> and then breathe out of your right nostril three times. Things like that, though, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Because I watched this YouTube video. For some reason, it was on my suggested. So I don't know what this is supposed to mean. But it was like something about feet pics. You know how it listens to you? It was after I had made a joke about like selling feet pics for money to my mom or something like that. Oh, I broke my foot. And I was like, I can't sell feet pics anymore. And like <laughs> it showed up on my uh, suggested how to make money selling feet pics. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? I have nothing better to do. So <laughs> I watched it. And it was literally like every special request that they make. Like, if there's a certain color coding on your toenail or something, you can be like, that's another 15 bucks. <laughs> and so, literally, I could be like, oh, you want me to lower my voice? $10. <laughs> like, okay. You want me to wink? $20. Like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Pay my tuition. <laughs> like I actually have a pretty funny story, like, relating to this. I don't know if I want to share it, though. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it's like... It's funny. Like that? Sure. I'm an open book, obviously. I have a podcast. So I think it's funny. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I'm, I'm I can't believe I'm sharing <laughs> this. Okay, so this is the story of literally the the first boner I can ever remember having. Oh right? God. So this is kind of this is kind of weird. I I think it was like a kids National Geographic or something and I don't know <laughs> why. I don't know why the f- and I'm not into feet. I want to say this before like getting into it. Like some people are into it, not my thing cool good for you i don't really (laughs) find it that weird but it does not turn me on whatsoever anyway i get i'm like look like you know like flipping through this thing at my grandma's house make it set this paint this picture set the setting and make it even weirder (laughs) i'm flipping through these pages i get to page whatever the fuck and i open up and all these people like drew their feet and then sent it in and i saw this there was this one foot with pink toenails and I don't know why, but, like, <laughs> I got, like, a boner from that. And I'm, like, in, in, like, third, fourth grade. And I'm just, like, what what the hell is this? <laughs> like, thinking back on so that maybe. memory, it's, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you do. See, you'd be the kind of guy that would get charged 15 extra dollars for a feet picture. <laughs> for the pink exactly toenails. Yeah, you'd be, like, I want them to be pink. And they'd be, like, okay, 15 dollars. <laughs> that's yeah. funny. See, maybe that's this guy's story. Maybe somebody was, like, hey, you're a loser. And that was his, like. Something inside of his body just, like, happened, and now he's just, like, paying girls online to do it. It works for him. He found his little nick that he has. 
Do you think it's kind of like he's finding pleasure in the pain? You know, maybe, like you said, like he had some pain from being called a loser back in high school or maybe he was always getting rejected by girls and now <laughs> so he wants now to get... girls do it for him. Yeah, yeah. like it's what? Like a, it's a form of power. Like now he's like making girls do it because they used to do it to him all the time. I don't know. That's like a... That, that would make sense, kind of. That would put a, a good sense to it. I don't know what the word for that would be. But I guess that makes it less weird, kind of. Yeah, in a weird way. Maybe that's how I'll tell myself. <laughs> 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 I'm helping him out. Okay. Making him feel better by making <laughs> him feel worse and some psychology <laughs> I don't understand. I'm like his therapist, okay? It's like therapy <laughs> and he's paying me. It's just like a weird kind. You can call me, yeah. That's what I'll call it. I'll tell it. How do you make your money? Oh, I do online therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. People pay me for sessions. They're like 15 seconds long. <laughs> like, <laughs> no big deal or anything. I'm a fantastic listener. <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally. That's funny. That's funny. It's it's fun. That's a fun thing to speculate and try to understand. Why, yeah, why people do that. I'm really curious, though, like, just putting your, your cash app in your bio, I'm curious where that takes you. I'm really curious, if, like, if you too. make some decent money. I'm waiting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who knows? Like, who knows what you can do with the following, you know? Literally, yeah. I mean, I've never even, I've never thought about it in my life. One of my, my oldest sister wanted to be, like, an Instagram blogger kind of thing. You know how, like, mm, ooh, I almost called her middle-aged. I'm not sure if she would like that. But she's, like, in her 30s. So... <laughs> She was, like, she's, like, trying to do that, and I always thought, like, she was trying to build her following, and she was, like, trying to do all these things, and now I was not, like, trying to build mine. I literally wanted to make my mom viral. I was, like, this, she could go viral, and now that it's I've like, got, got one, I'm, I'm just, like, yeah, I just thought I could, like, I thought I could, and so now that I've got one, I'm just, like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, am I supposed to, like, and then the other people that are on TikTok, you never see them, like, promoting things on their TikToks or stuff like that. And so I'm just like, should I not? Like, is this something that I shouldn't do? At the same time, like, if somebody's sending me free stuff, I'm not going to say don't, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But, yeah, I put my cash up in there. And there's another girl from my school that has her Venmo in there. And she's like, this is my Venmo. And at first I saw it, and I was like, why would she put her Venmo in her bio? I was thinking, like, that's kind of, like, suggestive. And, like, but then that first guy was like, can I send you money? And I was like like maybe i should put my cash app in my bio that's what i thought whenever i saw your cash app i'm like i bet there's some dudes on here just like willing to send money people yeah for nothing literally for nothing and i don't see like some people will say like you shouldn't accept that blah 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 and i'm just like who gives I don't know a why. shit i was gonna say i don't know why you wouldn't accept free money if i was walking down the street and somebody was like here's 30 bucks you wouldn't go no like you'd be like okay and i like am about to be in a crucial part of my life where i like need money really badly you know going to college i'm gonna be on my own supporting myself and it's i don't know especially if you do the sorority like you were saying yeah and I want it's to gonna it's it will get yeah. very expensive expensive so fast and it will be hard to like have a f- like a job keep my grades up and be in a sorority as a first year sorority doing all their like stuff that they do like i don't know if i can get money just sitting in my bedroom why i'd rather do that than be like washing the dishes somewhere like giving somebody food like yeah yeah whatever works i mean free money is free money (laughs) yeah exactly it's a plus side too it's more legitimacy too when people like will say something at my school about tiktok they'll be like oh you have tiktok blah blah blah. and i'll be like i've made more money off tiktok in the past week than i have at my job so i mean and it's been four days that's crazy yeah that's what's crazy every time i say it's been like four days it might have been five now i don't know when i looked at the four days but every time less I look than a at week. it, yeah. less than a fucking week. Every time that I look at it, I'm just like, wow, this went fast. Like this went fast. And so yeah, I don't know. That's unreal. It come from it. it, it kind of is. I, same deal though. I ran an Instagram account literally just for fun because, or it's it was a podcast. It's based off the most popular podcaster named Joe Rogan. I don't know if you're familiar with the name, mm-hmm. but anyway, I wanted to start that account so I could like promote mine. And I started doing that maybe close – it's coming up on two years. It was, like, the beginning of, like, this yeah. upcoming January, like, two years ago. So I started doing that as a hobby, and then I established that I wanted to go to Europe. So then I started kind of selling out on this page. I'm, like, getting creative. I'm, like, okay, like, how can I make yeah. money on this page? 
I made more money on there and like setting that agenda within two months than I did serving tables for an entire like five months. It's insane. It is. It's literally insane. And there, there, especially, it's weird how it like it'll it'll all come at one point in time. Like there was like an eight day period where I woke up to a hundred dollars or more every single day. That's insane. Like it's it's crazy. What, What were you doing? Just selling promos. So I was selling. I was like I sold. For some watch company, somebody selling some fucking bullshit watches, uh, and they sold. I think I sold four promos for a hundred dollars each. That was like four hundred. Wow. Uh, Gary V, if you know him, somebody that was like working with him, um, I sold some promos to them to post their content, and a lot of the shit never even got posted because it was like, like I sold it, and then two two months later or something like that, Instagram just arbitrarily got shut down. Or my, mine oh, wow. did. Like, they just went in and shut it down because they had this whole Instagram meme purge kind of time to get rid of all these meme pages. But, oh, wow. yeah, anyway, like, <laughs> yeah, just – and I was selling T-shirts, which Joe Rogan himself actually, like, threatened to sue me, which was crazy. He's and like, no way. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, this is, like, the anal- – this is the guy on Fear Factor, if you ever saw that. He was, I've like, heard the, the name. I was going to say, I don't know where I know. Okay. He's, so like, the, cool. the UFC you. Fight Nights. He's, like, the main announcer – Okay. Uh, he's a black belt in jujitsu. He's a stand-up comedian, number one podcast in the world. Like this guy, like it's it's that dude right there. Deal. Like he he's like crazy famous. Yeah, like the okay, bald yeah. guy. The one you can kind of tell. Okay, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Like, like my big... my point being is, you can get some free shit. Like that was free, and you can definitely make some money for That's sure. Right, yeah. And I'm, you'll get better at it as time goes I've on. I've got like, like I said, I've got like. I have a waist trainer on the way. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about that one. I don't know how I'm going to fit that in because I have to, like, promote the fact that I'm wearing it. And I've got, like, necklaces and stuff that people What's are What's a waist trainer? Me. It's like you put it on, and it you if you wear it constantly, it, like, shapes your body. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like Kim Kardashian and them. What is it, that thing that's, like, yeah. that big? I've and seen they those. they put it on, and they're just like, me and my waist trainer, yeah. So it's going to be me. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. I don't know. I don't feel like I could ever see myself, like, doing that, though. You kind of, like, when you said don't get lost in the likes, I feel like I see those girls, and they're just, like, taking selfies, and they're just, like, I don't know, promoting something, and I'm just, like, like, I'll promote it, but I don't know how much you're going to want me to because I don't look at myself like I am somebody that can promote your stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how effective. And you can make money if people buy it, too, though, is a thing. So it's, like... I want to promote it because if I make it seem like people should buy this and they do, then I'm benefiting from it. So it's like, oh. I don't know. It's like a commission kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So you should buy a waist trainer code <laughs> 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 for your trip to Europe. You got to get your Europe ready body. Yeah, you know? I just got to get, I got to get, get this tied again. Got to get it tied <laughs> yeah. again. Waist trainer. I can get you 20% off. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. How much are those things even? I think it said like fifty dollars, but oh, that's not bad. Yeah, you could probably find it for like way less. I was seeing else. some neck thing that it it's supposed to work out your neck, and it's literally like you put put on this like Einstein looking hat thing, and then you just move your neck from side to side, maybe tie it up on a wall or something. What in the world? <laughs> Guess how much that thing is? How much? Like seventy? It's like five hundred bucks. I'm like stupid money. I'm like absolutely not. I don't care about my neck that much. <laughs> <laughs> Calm what down. Is, what would that even do? I mean, I don't know. Does it I change your appearance at all? Like, I'm sure there are benefits to having a stronger neck, <laughs> and I'm sure it's like an overlooked part of the body to work out. Yeah. But it's not worth five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Enough people. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody exercising their neck. Now you can do like shrugs. I'm just I work like neck? the traps your, right oh here. Yeah. Your trap muscles, I can see. But I can't think of anything like this. Yeah. Get my cardio on Pluto. <laughs> 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 I hit the gym. Can you tell? Literally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to have a friend, actually. He um, he was notorious. Like, this dude was not ripped at all. But, I mean, it, was, it wasn't, like, fat or anything. Like, he was, yeah. he was on my soccer team. But he, his traps, like, went up, like, way up here. Like, way up here. And he said all he would do is just work out his traps back in, like, freshman year of high school. Wow. Huh. So it does pay off is what I'm hearing. Apparently. Hitting the gym does pay off. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to remind myself. Have you heard the rumors? What? Of the gym. If you hit the gym, it pays off. Oh, no. I mean, I have. They're very rumors, though. Every time I go, it doesn't even pay off for me, but that's, like, 
once a month, I think. Did you just go home and cry? Yeah. <laughs> I take a selfie, sit on there, check my Instagram. Exactly. Do a couple sit-ups, take another selfie, <laughs> watch myself do the sit-ups, and then I stop. <laughs> yeah. And then you, s- you can feel yourself starting to sweat, and you're like, <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. Phew, I've overdone it for the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to go home. <laughs> yeah, I need to shower. Phew, I need to eat. My body is malnourished now. <laughs> Literally, I'll do a sit-up, and I'll be like, okay, now I can have some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. So, like okay, it. you played soccer for MSU, you said? No, no, not okay. for MSU. Okay. I played college soccer in Chicago for, like, one semester, but ended up transferring down here. Okay. I just wanted to – I was thinking about that in my head, and I was, like, just wondering. Okay. Which, by the way, the people in Missouri are significantly nicer than people in Chicago. I think it's I just that, see that. that big city <laughs> mentality. I don't know what it is. There are not a lot of nice people. I met some good people when I was there, but a lot of assholes, too. A lot of really, I, I don't know. They just kind of got to stick up their ass up there. I only know, I'm sure I know more people from Chicago, but I can only think of, like, one person that I ever met from Chicago. And she did have a little bit. She was, I was friends with her. She had, like, an oomph to herself. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe like an arrogance? Like, yeah. Or like big city, which I guess if you did move from like a big city to Springfield Mo, you probably would have kind of an arrogance. But like you live here too now. So it's yeah. like yeah. Yeah, but that's like kind of the opposite happens when you move because when I moved from here to like St. Louis, everyone was like, "Where are you from?" Mm-hmm. They're like, "You are from Springfield." So you're like country and they would like mock me. I said y'all one time on accident. I don't even say y'all ever. Mm-hmm. And I didn't live it down. There are people that were like, "Y'all, we got a girl from Springfield over here." And I was like, "Oh my god." And so they see like small towns like that. And so when they move there, they're just like, "Oh my god." Like, you know. Y'all. Yeah, y'all. I was like, "I don't even say that." Okay. <laughs> an accident it slips out too sometimes yeah it's, it's just easier to say sometimes yeah you know? absolutely i started you saying it whenever i was uh whenever i was serving tables like literally only then it's just like shorter it's more efficient that way it takes less time less words to process exactly you, know? <laughs> you just tell them chicagoans and new yorkians to go fuck themselves exactly <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that and I'll take a video of it, and they can send me money. If exactly. They would like. <laughs> Make <laughs> I, it a business. <laughs> I had a feeling you were going that way with that. That's funny. That's, That's funny. That's my new thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean. I wonder if there's a market. I, I wonder if it's only a girl thing. I wonder if there's a market for dudes to do this there's as well. There's so many different kinds of people Yeah, out there. good point. There's probably plenty of people. Your cup probably runneth over on people like that. Like, there's probably, like, yeah. I don't want to call them weird people, but. Out there, people, maybe. <laughs> out there, different, unique. People. Special. <laughs> yeah. Breed, different breed of people out there <laughs> that will benefit Inbred, you. Inbred, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, probably. <laughs> possibly inbred. I feel like girls would want you to... I bet there's like a market for reading poems, like online poems to older women mm-hmm. or something. They'll pay for like the for you to fill the emptiness that they have in their marriage. They'll pay you to fill it. They'll be like, "I want this." I could see like your friend with the older woman. I could see they're po- possibly being like sugar mamas. Have you heard of those? Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, so yeah, it's a thing. There might be some that like I need to look into thriving it more. off of. Yeah, I just graduated <laughs> yesterday. I'm gonna be balling on a budget, baby. <laughs> Student <laughs> loans. What do you do with your What do you do with your degree? Oh. Uh, a couple sugar mamas now (laughs) you want to hear something crazy yes okay so like one of the wildest podcasts i've done and i had these two strippers on here Uh, i've been to a strip club like three times in my life and one of the times was for my friend's 22nd birthday this is like march of earlier this year and i meet i meet these girls and end up like my friends like okay so this girl walks up starts talking to my friend this is like a stripper and he starts talking for like 10 minutes. Then I join in on the conversation. The three of us talk for like 15 minutes, something like that. And we go to the bathroom before heading out. He's like, dude, like that girl was cool. She was, you should ask her to come on your podcast. Cause he had just done one like two days before that. And I was like, honestly, I was kind of thinking that, but never really thought about reaching out. Long story short, she ends up coming on and she tells me at one point that she goes, she went out the night before, to Cracker Barrel for dinner 
with some old dude that's like on his way out, like dying. Yeah. And this guy literally just she claims just and I'm not saying I don't believe her, I'm just saying she claims yeah. um that for seven hundred dollars and paying for the meal just to go out to a meal with this guy. That's kinda sad. Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. She embraced That's it. She's like, I love taking old white well, men's yeah, money. What? Um, no, why why would you say no? That's yeah. a thing. Like, I don't know why you would say like you're going to dinner with somebody. Like she's she you can flip it even. If he's on his way out, she's making a positive impact in the last few like months, I don't know, years of his life and happens to be making money from it. Yeah. You know? She's offering her company and getting paid. It's a job. I mean, whoa. That's what I need to find. I'll go to lunch. Somebody take me to lunch, pay me for it, <laughs> pay for the meal. I'll sit there, I'll talk to you. <laughs> we can take a picture afterwards if you want. <laughs> like, what? That, that kind of proves, though, that, like, what, s- like, there are just some lonely people out there, you yeah. know? I mean, shoot. Yeah. Got the right, the right uh, amount of money. I might be your man, you know? Yeah, like, who knows, what? yeah. It's, like, weird to think about. You had never thought about, like, seeing yourself doing that but for the right amount of money I don't know and you're not doing anything bad like that's another thing like I would never like I w- do anything like that I don't know I just feel like that's like not me I feel like it will come back to like bite you someday and like against like what I would do personally anybody that does it like that's fine if they want to do it but I could never but if it's something that doesn't degrade me and, like, how I perceive myself in any sort of way. And it's just, like, me doing something. And I get, like, abnormal amount of money for, like, what I'm doing. And it is fine. Then, like, yeah, I'll go to dinner with you. <laughs> like, Exactly. What? More power to her. Like, what? I, I <laughs> love that mentality because I, I was listening to some podcast with some, some – whoever the dude was, he was rich as fuck. Yeah. And he's talking about – Sending my cash out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and he's he said, once you get to a certain point with money, money just becomes a story. And you want to you want it to do, you want to do something that you can tell a story you're proud of. Because, you know, like think, think if you were just thinking money, 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 and then yeah. you start, I don't know, sending some like, I don't know, titty shots or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever is getting you paid. And it's like, damn, now I got like X amount of money and I'm happy with the amount in my bank account. But I don't really like how I got here. So, like, I, I like that, that you're, like, staying true to yourself. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah. But also, like, making money in ways that, like, you're not going to regret that. If you, <laughs> yeah. if you have those videos or if you go out to lunch with some old dude. and, and Yeah, and the fact, if I, I thought about it this way. If I can't, if I couldn't tell somebody I was doing it, like, I told the kid in my class that I was getting money to, to tell somebody that they were ugly. Like, if I couldn't, like, confidently be like, yeah, I'm doing this then I wouldn't do it. But I have no problem. I would tell my dad. Yeah. Like, yeah, I told some dude he was ugly and he paid me 340 bucks for it. Like, or I called him a loser. I didn't say he was ugly. <laughs> but that's next. That'll cost but him a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's how I am. If I can like comfortably, like confidently, like. Tell your dad. I like that. Yeah, I like tell that. my dad that I'm doing it. Because I'm not, yeah, I could never, yeah. I'm yeah, very, how are you yeah. possibly going to regret I, I don't see anything wrong. I, I think most <laughs> guys, too, you know, like most guys yeah. are going to be like, man, I wish I was in a position to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, no That's awesome. Make money for nothing, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing shameful either. That's what, yeah. I was surprised people were offered. I was like, because I did ask. I was like, how much money? I was like, just curious. How much money are you offering me? And I was expecting, I was not expecting him to say $340. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, what a weird amount, first of all. And then I was like, that's like a lot of money for... How did he come up with that number? I don't know. I was... I didn't ask. I think he just like checked his wallet. He's like, yeah, 320, <laughs> 340. <laughs> yeah. Okay, $340. Yeah. <laughs> maybe there's like... Maybe he has a menu for himself. And he's like, I'll give you 340 for this. Mm. And he's like, yeah, you call me ugly. I'll give you 500. And he did say, when he said 340, I haven't done anything else. But he goes for now so just see, honestly see how much just hold yourself to that standard and just keep milking this yeah you might be able to get some good money i don't even need to go to college <laughs> yeah right literally i could yeah that's i don't know there's just so many possibilities you could you can literally make a business out of even though that's like not a business you know 
that can like contribute to it like that can be money put towards like adding on to i don't know just a side hustle yeah it's a side hustle there we go you're supposed to have seven streams of income that's one of them get it you get <laughs> it i love it income. yeah it's one of my seven streams <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah this is crazy that's crazy and it's like uh yeah and like i said i worked once this week because i don't get scheduled that often and i I forget what I get paid, but less than $10 an hour. And I work like four or five hours. So I literally made more money off TikTok than I did at my work this week. That's crazy. So like, I don't know. You might come to a point <laughs> yeah. where you end up quitting too. <laughs> yeah. That, I that mean, should be yeah. your next goal, honestly. To not have to like legitimately have a job. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like working though. I think it's fun. Gives you something to do. Yeah. Interaction, social interaction, mm -hmm. something to take part in, you know. You see, you see all kinds of different people, and like sometimes you see people that you know, and like you can just like talk to people. I don't know, I like it. Give little kids stickers and stuff. See mm. their face light up. You're just like, yeah, do you want a sticker? And it's fun. My one of my best Wait, friends. What, what job there. are you doing again? That you're giving little kids stickers? Um, well, I work at the counter at Pizza Ranch. Okay. So like, there's stickers up there, and I don't offer it to like every kid because sometimes you don't get the opportunity. But if they're like crying or if they're like really cute, I'll like offer them a sticker. I'll be like, do you want a sticker? And it's just like, I don't know. It makes the job worth it. <laughs> it's like cute. They get so excited. But it's awkward because you have to be like, is it okay if they have a sticker? Because you don't just like want to offer it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the like parents aren't like as opening as the children are. So it's like, I don't want to ask your mom if you can have this, but I want to give it to you. So, but I love it. I think it's fun. So once a week is good though. That's not like having a job. That's like once a week I... It's like a hobby. Go to Pizza Ranch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get to work behind the counter. <laughs> yeah. Literally. It's fun. Give little kids stickers. Yeah. Give little kids stickers. Eat the mints. Yeah. Literally, I stand up there and I just eat the mints that we have all all day long. <laughs> probably, there's probably a lot of calories in those, and I probably just, like, eat them like they're nothing, and I'm probably, like, it's probably like I went and ate at the buffet is how many mints I eat. That's what I did at Olive Garden. They have this little, have you had those, the little yes, chocolate? Those are the best mints, yes. Those are incredible. Did you used to work there? Yeah, yeah, I was a server there for a little bit. That's insane, yeah. I would go crazy. <laughs> I would literally go crazy. Oh, there were shifts, right, like 20, 30 of them for sure. Oh, I could see that. Then I had to lay off of them, like, okay, <laughs> I, can't, I can't open one, <laughs> because once you eat one, you're going to have two. There's and then the aftertaste, and you're just like, I need to taste it again, and so you eat another aftertaste. one. have a great aftertaste. They have a great aftertaste. Literally, yeah. These are nothing like the Olive Garden ones, yeah. I don't know what I'd be, and I don't know if I would have enough self-control that situation at Olive Garden. It's Those like mints. I, I, it's like I want to work at Olive Garden for whatever reason, but I can't. I can't. The, the mints, mints are too good. <laughs> they're just too good. Especially if you're in charge of like making sure that they're like full and everything. I could not. <laughs> you're just like dumping them out into the container, and your your hands right in the middle of it, just <laughs> grabbing it. You have your mouth open under them. You're just like <laughs> shoving them in each pocket you you're wear a shirt pocket <laughs> yeah. just so you can put more in there you're the reason it's getting refilled and you're the person that refills them <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah literally i like it do you have anything else in your mind what do you have anything else in your mind on my mind um no i know everything <laughs> like everything instagram related that's I, i've or like social media related i've asked you Anything to, like, do with that, and then... I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Nothing, no topics come up. I can just talk about it, you know? I just can't really think of topics, like... I don't know. One thing that I, w I have thought about is the fact that dancing is, like... You said that you just downloaded TikTok. Have you been, like, looking at it prominently since you've downloaded it? I've been, I've been looking at it trying to understand it. How, like, everything. Yeah, because so, it's such a, it's a culture. It's yeah. a culture on there, and I don't get it. Like, I don't you'll be, get it. You'll get it soon, and you'll be surrounded in it, and you'll, it'll be 4 a.m., and you'll just be, like, looking at TikTok. <laughs> like, I swear, I would have never thought that that's what would have happened, but that's literally what happens. Are you in deep? Yes. I mean, yeah, look at me. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? I kid you not when I say my sister would, like, I had a friend that would send me TikToks of, like, animals. And then my sister would like, he'll like it, like just download it. And I was like, no, like, and she's older than me. So I was like, you shouldn't even have that app. Like you're in college. Like, well, I don't even know why you have TikTok. 
and then I make one and then all of a sudden like my sister's like sees all these views and everything and she's like do you remember whenever I told you about the app and you were just like Madison that's stupid Mm -hmm. and I was like yeah I do remember that but (laughs) (laughs) that's okay but like the most like famous people around my age because it's definitely age group and you said not a lot of people your age are on there yeah I could so see if people do it right I'm giving away marketing strategies here if you just like obviously the people like that are older than like my generation of doing it aren't going to be doing the same things as us they're not going to be like dancing and like listening to the same music like they just have to create their own there is such a big market for that right now i could so see it i think and i think it's so it's still relevantly or relatively new so you that they're opening the algorithm to mm -hmm. everybody so that like you said that you keep posting keep posting i mean like no i i made an account like two days ago or whenever it was the time to shine yeah no like i i have a ton of content already because i've been making like i used to make vines back in the day okay and you're an og See, I, I yeah, exactly. I'm, <laughs> I'll just brush off these shoulders real quick. But even I was a little bit old to you. At least I don't know. I didn't feel like. Yeah, I guess a fair amount of people my age were watching vines. But anyway, anyway, I um, I was making vines, and I thought I saw like some success on there. But these TikTokers, it's really it's is insane. more. Like yeah. I hit like 40k, and this this took me like six months to a year to get to, like 10 million loops and like 4k. And like, TikTok, I don't know. The yeah. way that TikTok does it, the For You page, I think it's really smart because it does, you see a lot of, it caters towards you, so you see a lot of things that interest you, and that's how you see everyone. Like, Do you oh, know how to get on there better? No. I mean, there's a hashtag For You page, but I honestly have no idea. I, th- I looked it up in, like, the algorithm because I was just c- confused because my video, like, kept getting played by, like, days after. I was like, why are people still watching? Like, why is this still, like, being put out everywhere? And it's, like, so they put it out to, like, a group of, like, 200 people. They check the points that you have or something like that based off number of shares, comments, likes, times viewed, if they finish it all the way through, and they, like, evaluate it, and then they give you out to, like, 500 people the next time. And then they do a reevaluation, and they give you out to 1,000 people the next time. And so that I think that's how you get on more people's For You page is, like, based off of how successful you are at the beginning. Mm. But, like, there is, like... Most of the people that fit, like, my profile, like, my, I don't, is it called, like, demographic, psychographic? I don't know. But the people that fit, like, my age, my gender and everything, all they do is dance. They just dance. Like, they do these dances to, like, songs. And there's a couple one-hit wonders that do, like, relatable things, but they don't, like, go viral. But, like, Charlie D'Amelio, I don't know how to say her name. Have you heard of her? No. She's, like, a big TikTok girl. She got the hype they call it i guess is what they say and so she's got like a lot of followers and everything and everyone like she went viral on tiktok like insanely viral a while ago and so now she's just like known like comfortably as one of those tiktok people like a tiktok girl and she does collaborations with everyone but she's a dancer and everyone that she collaborates with is dancing and like i can't like i can't at all to be honest that's whenever i made it i was like i just want to (sighs) be goofy like yeah. i just want to make goofy shit i don't want to make yeah i don't want to make dancing ones and i'm not also, into that part of it they're like not sexual dances but they're like sexy kind of yeah 100 percent. and i can't look at myself seriously and just be like watching myself on the camera like doing these things and like making these faces trying to look all cute and stuff and i was like i just can't take myself seriously and do that and i also again with the dad thing my dad brought up the fact that I made a TikTok to somebody and showed it to them. I don't I don't know if he would do that if it was his daughter, like, wearing, like, two skimpy pieces of clothes and, like, dancing to a piece of music. I don't know if I'd want him doing that. Like, showing people, oh, this is my daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what? But I just can't. And apparently that's the way to stay relevant, so. No, you see it the exact <laughs> same way yeah. that I see it, 100%. Because what got me into this is I co- coincidentally, coincidentally, one of my friends invites me to a party, which is right down the street. I met this girl who ended up being, like, TikTok famous at this party. And I actually had her on my podcast, like, three, four nights ago, something like that. And that's that's her approach, too. Is she's, like, really good at dancing. And she, honestly, she, like, she really cool person. Really cool person. I got along with her really well. But she's really good at dancing and then kind of, I don't, I wouldn't ever say in a million years that she wears, like, slutty shit. But she wears 
She wears I know stuff what you're that exposes her stomach, you I know? know? What you're saying. Yeah. Like it's like mildly promiscuous. Like I wear them. Yeah, I know. Like yeah. I yeah. That's what I said I said skimpy. I don't mean that in a bad way. I, I wear it. Like mm-hmm. one of my videos I'm wearing a top like that and it's like the second most popular one. So like no shame in the game, but Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I just can't. And like But the the dancing part of yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. No. The, the outfit. So it's like yeah. hard. It's like, how, what approach do I want to go to keep the ball rolling? I'm just on doing this. my personality. I'm just like, if this, I don't know. Like, but yeah, I think I saw, I think I saw that you were interviewing her and I saw that she was like on TikTok and everything. I didn't watch mm. her TikToks. I try not to get like too far down stalking. I'm the same way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause I will and it'll be bad and I'll be like finding these random people and I'll accidentally bring it up in conversation and it'll be like really bad and awkward. Have you seen those things where it's like you go on a date with somebody and you accidentally bring up their aunt's trip from like three years ago to like Barcelona? Those memes that say that? No, no. There will be like memes and it'll be like, so you're meeting somebody from Tinder and you stalk their Instagram or something and you like get onto their oh. aunt's page. I accidentally did that the other day. No like way. Actually, I asked, I don't, I'm not going to say too much, but I was talking to somebody that I don't even know like in person and they were like, and I asked them a question and I just asked it so casually because I'm like half paying attention, like, you know, doing the selective, like paying attention to somebody. And they go, how'd you know that? And I literally stopped myself in my tracks and I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like, it's how like, did oh I know shit. that? <laughs> you told me I, did, mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I literally, I exposed myself. I was like, I was stalking you and I saw it, mm-hmm. but I just try to play it cool. Like it wasn't weird that I knew it, you know? <laughs> Well, that's that's the weird thing, too, about social media now, because obviously in high school, you probably know everybody in your grade, probably the class above you, class yeah. below you, you know, but in college, there are so many people. And then yeah, not in a not in a, a cocky way, but some people are like, I guess you'd say like more relevant. I can't think of a better word for that, but like yeah. they'll post more or they they care about their social media image more so than other people. And what I notice is you get it on like. You get on both sides, but I think more so with, like, the opposite gender. People will follow you or you follow oh, them first. Sure. And then you start seeing them out in public, and you're like, at least me, I'm like, I'm not the type to connect with somebody on there. And it, it's not like I have this kind of, like, I, I don't know, like, uh, I don't even know the thoughts I'm trying to say right now <laughs> with with relationship with somebody. Like, they, it's like, I know you, you know me. Yeah. But that's about as far as it goes, kind of deal. Yeah, I know. Like I'm not the type to just walk up and start the conversation because I'm like, do they know me? I obviously know them. That's like something with this gener, like the new generations. I think a lot of us have those like, oh, I know you and you know me, but you don't like know them. You know their Instagram. You know their name. You know that like they were with this person on Tuesday and this is what they were wearing and this is what they were doing. And they are friends with this person. And you know a lot about them, but you don't know them. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. That's and it's a, like... It's weird because you don't it's know... It's weird. I never know what to do. I don't feel like maybe as time goes on, progresses and stuff, and that becomes more normal, maybe there will be like a new set of unspoken rules. Because I don't... I know exactly what you're talking about. I'll know somebody. Last night this happened to me. I was like with some friends. It was one of my friends' birthday. And there was a girl there. And I knew her. And she knew me. But we didn't. We had never met each other before. And they said, See, do you guys know each other? And we just, like, looked at each other. And we're just like, yeah, I know. I know of her. And, like, that's just, like, we both knew. Like, oh, we know each other, but we don't know each other. And it's just, like, you don't go up and be like, hey, I'm Aubrey. Like, yeah, I know. Like, you liked my picture the other day. And, yeah, I don't it's know. It's weird. It's And somebody's got to make the first move, you know, like, yeah. in, in a bizarre way. Of being like, yeah, I know them. Like, I know who you are. And then, like, I've had people that play it. They'll play it as if they don't know me. People that play off, like, 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 like you said, that. like, yeah, we know who each other are, which I think is the, almost the most real approach. What it, what annoys me personally is it's like they act all buddy buddy with you. Yeah. Which, I I don't know. Sometimes people will do that, Sometimes and then I'm I like, like that. they're actually really cool, and you're like, okay, if like they do it the right way. Yeah. One hundred. Br- that probably is the best approach. If, if yeah, if they do it the Act right like, way. Yeah, because there's if they have the right amount of like confidence, I think like not being like, oh, I know you, but like, oh, like I've seen you on Instagram. Like, oh yeah, I follow you on Instagram. Like, and then it allows the other person to be like, 
yeah, I follow you too, or something like that. And that's how, that's like you guys meeting each other, kind of. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've always, that's always been weird for me too. Like, do I act like I know them? Like, I'm not going to go introduce myself or anything. Absolutely. Or it's more awkward when, like, somebody's talking to you and they follow you and you don't follow them. So you've never met them before. And then, like, you find out that they knew exactly who you are. And you're just like, so I was meeting this person for the first time and they already knew pretty much everything about you because you're social media you have no idea how like revealing that actually kind of is sometimes and I'm just like, especially wow. if you're really like self-expressive yeah and like they can see yeah exactly so you like meet somebody and you'll go look them up on social media and be like follow back and i'm like oh they already knew who i was like that's kind of awkward like yeah I don't know. <laughs> yeah but it kind of helps like i don't know i like it more than back in the day i guess if you wouldn't know as many people i feel like you get to know more people that way oh 100 percent. we're more interconnected than mm -hmm. we've ever been and i feel like it's just growing and growing growing so i wonder because a lot of people say you don't stay friends with the people that you like went to school with and i wonder i'm just like maybe you didn't back in the day but maybe you will now like maybe you'll like that was literally my exact yeah. philosophy that was my exact theory on high school yeah. and to be honest i don't yeah, I, I talked to <laughs> okay. not very many people from high school. Okay. I mean, I could see that, I guess. Because that's still, like, your personality is still, like, kind of in its shell at that point. Because you're just, like, haven't been allowed to, like, live on your own yet. So, I guess you could become a different person and be like, oh. And you start a new life in college. You meet all these new people being whoever you want to be, I guess. They don't know about the boyfriend you had your sophomore year that you broke up with five times and got back together with every time <laughs> and like what you did at that party new year's eve or something like that and so it's like you kind of i don't know i could see that still you are so i don't know if it's mature or wise but you, you, i think that's <laughs> a, i don't know you're you're making like some very realistic predictions that i think are accurate for Hopefully. sure <laughs> I don't know. that's the weird thing about college too is every not everybody but a lot of people like majority for sure have dealt with some they're, they're kind of carrying whether they show it or not but a lot of people deep down are carrying like a trauma of a past relationship or something yeah, like that's that annoying you know like some <laughs> yes. and, and i'm not saying like people are like expressive of it but it's kind of it's kind of a weird time with like dating too yeah. at that point in your lives because some people i don't know they just maybe they aren't very comfortable in that setting or some people they got this bias like a lot of I don't know, like, they have this bias against the opposite gender or whatever. Yeah, I yeah, I can't stand that. I cannot stand that. Everyone's different. I'm sorry you had a bad experience. Get over with it. If you're in a relationship that's on and off, it's never going to be on 100% for the rest of your life, so just cut it off. Take mm -hmm. the bandit, rip it off now, grow up. Like, I don't know. I've Okay, I've never been in an actual relationship before, so, again, maybe I'm, like, the wrong person to, like, be talking about this. But at the same time, like... I don't know. I ooh, like I don't. I've never understand why people like. Oh, this girl played me so much. Damn, that sucks. Okay, next, like move on. Like you, mm -hmm. I don't know. I I'll know play devil's I advocate here. Back in high school, I had, I had like a a really positive relationship, but it kind of ended negatively, and that that for like a year kind of fucked with my head. But that's the conclusion I came to. It's like after that, it's like. Dude, nobody cares besides you. So like, well, I mean, you have to. Get you there's a breakup. You're gonna have like, that's like. That's I don't know if it normal. took a full year. <laughs> like, it probably it probably took like seven months. Like it took a normal. little over six months. But it's the people, yeah, that carry it with them, that like, continue like they start being the one that plays other girls. I'm just like, mm -hmm. well, this girl broke my heart. I'm just like, well, okay, I'm mm -hmm. sorry about it. Like I don't. That doesn't mean you need it. I don't know. Again. I have no experience, but I watch, and watching sometimes better than playing. So it's a good point. It's yeah. a good point. And Coach, uh, coaches don't play, guys. <laughs> <laughs> great point. Great point. You could, you could, uh, sit b you're sitting back in the in the bleachers. Yeah, I'm just like I'm. Yeah, I'm like watching everyone. I'm a spectator. I'm just like, hmm. It's like interesting to watch, though. I guess I've heard <laughs> on that topic or a similar topic. There was a dude who. I think a, I think a guy was trying to hijack a plane, and some other guy stopped him just from watching UFC. Like he never tried it, <laughs> but he was watching UFC, so he like learned how to get the knife That's out of his hand cool. or something crazy like that. That's insane. Can you imagine? Just See learning that? just by watching, like yeah. learning See, exactly. some of the moves. <laughs> yeah. That's that's you. That's yeah, you. That's You're kicking me. ass, but <laughs> you've never. 
You Nobody haven't done it yet, it. <laughs> but you can. You I'm can. getting myself ready. <laughs> college. There we go. There you I'm go. I'm watching in high school, so I'll be ready in college. Which is actually kind of true, because I don't know why you would get in like a serious relationship in high school. Everybody's like a hopeless romantic in high school. Yeah. They're like, oh Nobody's my goodness, this is the person for me. In hi- yeah, I don't. Yeah. My friend told me, because I told him, because every s- all of my friends have boyfriends. Every single one of the girls have boyfriends. Like, I like will have things with guys. But I think that's the most fun part. I don't know. Like, I don't, I think it's dumb, personally. Not dumb, but, like, not my style. And so, like, all my friends have boyfriends, and I was telling this guy, I was like, yeah, like, it seems fun. And he's like, I just feel like you're not the high school relationship type. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, like, you're not the high school relationship. And I was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Because, like, high school, I don't know, it's just different. It's Mm -hmm. not real at all. And it's, like, basically a calculated game kind of thing. And people are like hopeless romantics and like put so much feelings into it and you're very just like very idealistic Dude, yes you're just like well we're in high school but I guess one of my friends is getting married she's like engaged and she's my age so I guess we are getting to that it's one of those things it's like I can't judge but at the same time is that what you want this point in your life and oh, is it gonna imagine. work out <laughs> yeah. you know like who fucking but knows but it's like insane though cause it's like That's okay early. so maybe yeah I know I'm over here like never had a boyfriend and she's planning her wedding i'm watching like rick and morty she's pl- getting her wedding dress i'm like making tiktoks like to music and she's like got a ring on her finger and i'm just like wow like it's two different we're at the end we're the same exact age in the same mm-hmm. grade she graduated early it's crazy i think yeah yeah i could not imagine that's yeah. the weird thing about college too like on your on your way out you think like a lot more people would be dating at this point in life to you know like once they're on their way out of graduating college like their last year of college whatever but a lot of people like they'll they'll date and a lot of this is based off like social media and like what my understanding of their relationships but also a lot of like i talk to a lot of people too and a lot of people will talk for like three months and then they kind of like throw that relationship out of the way too because I mean, if you talk to a lot of college graduates, they don't really know where they're going to be a year from now. They don't know where they're going to be two years from now. So, like, that uncertainty is, I don't know. It's like, why would I get into something serious? I feel like that's serious? the way to do it, though. I mean, unless I you come across somebody and they're, like, f- perfect and they're just and you fall in love with them. Mm-hmm. Like, there's that. But if, like, there's nobody that, like, makes you, like, want to focus on them, you know? And, like, it's, like, mutual. Like, you're not just, like, head over heels for somebody that's, like, playing hard to get and that's why you like them. I feel like, I don't know, make – have your your self relationship first and, like, thrive after college. I would never, like – I don't know. If I could see myself, like, settling down, like, an actual relationship, I probably honestly wouldn't want one until I was in a comfortable place of my life, like, grown and not, like – I don't know. I would, like – if it was possible for it to last like longer Mm -hmm. because in that time of your life plus it can like kind of put a roof on top of you you know like it can put like a cap on like what you could achieve oh absolutely and you shouldn't do that to yourself like you should see what you could do on your own and then like find somebody whenever you've reached your potential or whatever that, yeah, you. that's great advice. That's fantastic advice. Advice from a 17-year-old who's never been in a, rela- <laughs> a real relationship before. There you go. <laughs> no, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because who knows? Like um, like I was saying, who knows where I'll be a year from now. I mean, I'll probably be in St. Louis. But I just I think, know. I think, I don't know. I'm, like, kind of scared to get boring. Is that, yeah. is that, reta- no, like, it, it, no. Is that unrealistic? <laughs> I've said retarded, but no, I was like, I people know. get offended by that word now. So, <laughs> like, is that is that stupid? Like, you know, I don't. I just don't want to. I don't want to fall into a relationship, fall into the same patterns, and then get boring. Oh, like, it's just a type of person. I feel like that's what relationships are. Like, I feel like it's like boring and dramatic and cause drama and like you could be having so much more fun. You know, like think and about it. If I if I dated somebody instead of going to Europe right now. You know, like, what if that Ew, was, that's like... just not worth it. You know, if it was, like, this or that. Like, I, not that it has to be, but, like, yeah. if it was this or that. Oh, my goodness. And like, that's actually a possibility. Because if you were, like, in a serious, committed relationship right now, and she was, like, still in school, maybe, 
and you wanted to go to Europe, she's not going to be like, yeah, go to Europe for a year, you know? And, like, you're probably not going to be as inclined to go to Europe for a year. It's going to mess with oh, your I brain. Wanna, I want to stay with her. I want to yeah. be here to support her. There's so many, yeah. And you don't think that, that would be you until, like, you find somebody and those chemicals in your brain start, like, working. And all of a sudden, you're just like, what about those weekends where she's out with the girls? I'm like, I'm not going to be there. And, like, all these things. And you're just like, I want to be with her. Like, I don't want to. It'll mess with you. And it will make you less of, like, your ideal version and more like your version with them in your life. And, like, you should – I feel like you should only do that if you literally find somebody who's for you. Somebody mm-hmm. that would go to – that's the exact same kind of person as you. Because you could find somebody that would go to Europe with you. And it would be, like, ten times more fun to go with them than without them. Hell, yeah. Then, yeah. That's, like, the only, yeah, exception, I think. Going off of that and to – kind of go the opposite way of going like boredom is if there's any theme of my next relationship that I pursue, it's that like, like growth through encouragement, you know, like I, I I don't want to be in one of those fucking relationships that you're putting up walls and restrictions on how the other person can live their life. Like I want, I want to like pledge to that person you be as free as you can possibly be, exactly. and I will be as free as possible as I can possibly be. And we're all we're gonna like, you know, kind of invest in this, but also be open to the possibility we might grow apart. I feel like those are like the actual legitimate type of actual relationships, though. You know, like if there's a relationship that's not like that, and it's more the structured, what are you doing? Like where, what are you wearing? Like stuff like that. I feel like that's not even a relationship. That's like a. I don't know what arrangement like in some sort of way like Mm. it's like you're just comfortable with each other and like oh she's my girlfriend like I don't like that like that's the thing about labels like you want one because it like kind of means like that is that is yours I don't want to like do that but like pretty much like that's your person you know but like I think it should be more like you're with somebody like there's somebody that's so like important that you like so much that they're that label like just happened you know they didn't ask you out like oh you want to be my girlfriend i didn't know people still did that but people might (laughs) be doing that and i was like that is so dumb what are we like are we talking like what i don't know like i don't know yeah let the let the label whatever you want to call it like let it form itself organic organically organically there we go let it (laughs) happen organically if if you're that important and i'm that important then I don't need to be your girlfriend in order to not go make out with that guy tomorrow mm-hmm. night. Like, you shouldn't care if I'm wearing a bra outside because if I like you that much, then I'm not going to, like, take the attention from somebody, which that's not bad. I don't know why people would get mad about that, but, yeah. But there are. There are people that yeah. do. That's the crazy thing. Yeah. I don't know. Who cares? And some people Who that cares? like it, though. Girls that like guys to be like, no, you can't wear that. And they'll, like, pretend to get mad about it. But they'll be like, yeah, he cares what I wear. He doesn't want me to wear anything too revealing. And I'm just like, oh, congratulations. I just want <laughs> I want a lot of freedom. Like, I want reciprocated freedom and, like, no judgment. Like, I would never want to – I don't know. I'm not one to judge girls off what they wear. Like I was saying with that yeah. girl earlier, like, I'm not judging her whatsoever. Yeah. I'm just saying I think she found an equation that works, and that's – kind of my yeah. hypothesis on it anyway uh you know like if i if i was in something like more serious with somebody it's like you do you i do me and let's just i don't know they're a person yeah yeah they're they're open communication yeah. and just let you yeah just let you do you i feel like those are the relationships that's work work authentically like are happy in the long run you know that's the only kind that i'm going to yeah not the kind that I'm, i won't kids, settle so for less works. yeah yeah <laughs> The kind that, yeah. See, exactly. And there's no reason, like, if you do continue to, like, travel to Europe and backpack and stuff, you're not going to be, like, sitting at home, like, letting yourself settle for less. You're going to be distracted by so many bigger and better things that literally a big and better person would have to, like, present itself to, like, even draw your attention away from that. That's, like, yeah. I'm curious, too, if I'm going to be, like, you know, like, I, I don't know... I wonder if it's going to change what I'm attracted to. Does that make sense? Like, maybe I start getting really attracted to... Yeah, exactly. I go over to Europe, and I'm just like, dude, I love butthole. (laughs) But, like, dude butthole. Like You're gay now. (laughs) You never know. Who knows? Who knows? Keep it open (laughs) mind. Keep it open mind. You never know. But, you know know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe, Maybe 
through growth in that experience, you become attracted to people that have also traveled or you become attracted to like a specific country or I don't know. I don't know. Somebody that's like even more adventurous than you. Somebody you find peculiar. Yeah. You'll find out like that's like kind of the cool thing, though. Like you will. Everything you do, there's somebody that's doing something and like are doing. I don't know how to word this. There's somebody out there that's doing something that like appeals to you and like you don't even know it and then you'll meet them one day and you'll be like whoa what like you could meet a girl that didn't backpack through europe but maybe she went to like barcelona and maybe it was just a week it wasn't a month but after that she went to like guadalajara i don't know those are i don't know why that's the only two places that i can think of right now but they can like (laughs) come up with these like amazing stories and like yeah or maybe like all of a sudden you are attracted to people that have stayed in the same state the ho- their whole life and never traveled anywhere because you think it's cool that they don't know anything. Yeah, good point. Because you like showing people things. You're just like, well, let me show you a whole new world or something. Yeah. You got, you like being that person who they you, like who you're appreciated for that part of you. Yeah. That's a good point, too. That could be a response. See, who, that's so the many, crazy yeah. thing. It's going to transform <laughs> me inevitably. Like, this is going... I'm going to be a new person on the other side of tomorrow, this whole Europe thing. Your chapter starts tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Isn't that insane? Isn't that an Annie song? Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow. The sun will come out. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> yes, that is Annie. But, yeah, that's crazy. That would honestly, straight up, that would be my advice for college. That's something... Not to toot my own horn, but that's something I think I did pretty well in college. And I would say, er, this is something I think I've done like somewhat well in college, is instead of focusing on the party, like you're going to have fun. You're going to yeah. party. Like you seem like a social girl. Like you'll have your fun. <laughs> but also like pursue a lot of different shit. Like find out what you like. And like, I don't know, try yoga. Try, I don't, I don't, just random shit. Yeah, just try sense. random shit. Might as well. Yeah, just I think I think it's fun. The unknown, I guess you could call it. If it's unknown, it's like a new experience. Moving. When I moved, I didn't know that I liked that because I love like what you're trying, like trying new things and stuff like that. When I moved, I had lived in Springfield my whole life, and people that have lived in Springfield their whole life, they're like the same as like a certain group of people in Springfield. Like everyone's like it's almost like culty. Everyone's the same. If they're like part of yes, everyone's the same. And so I moved. And, like, I saw, I found all these new people, even within the friend group that I became friends with, all of them were different. Like, they were not the same. They didn't have the same style. They didn't, their moms did not go to the same high school as each other. They did not grow up. They did not drive the same cars. They did not, like, wear all the same clothes. Like, all of them, like, one might be, like, more hippie and one might be more city and one likes singing and, like, it's okay. Like, what they like is okay. And, like, I just learned, like, it was uncomfortable for me at first because I was like, whoa, like, everyone's different. But now it's just, like, experiencing new things and, like, not staying with the same thing. That's so fun. Going and doing something spontaneous and, like, something that's uncomfortable. Yeah, partying is the same thing. Like, I don't, like, I wouldn't say that I, like, I'm a hardcore, like, partier or anything like that. But, like, I don't imagine that it gets, like, much different every party that you go to in college. Yeah. It's really exciting in, like, the first year and then it kind of gets, it's like, okay. But a lot of people lose themselves in that partying, which is why I say that. Like, obviously, you yeah. do you. You do whatever you yeah. want. But just don't be one of those people that gets lost in the sorority, that gets lost in the partying, because it's so common. You get lost in the schoolwork. <laughs> <laughs> no. Lost in the sauce of school. No. I'll probably, I don't know. I do worry about, like, that aspect of things because I do, like, I don't know. I get scared that I won't prioritize correctly. And not, like, I don't think I'll fail out, like, my classes-wise, but balancing, like, sororities and, like, schoolwork and partying and stuff. I think partying comes with sororities, though. I could be yeah, very Yeah, i say wrong. so. Okay. Because I thought about If you want to group myself, all of that as yeah. social, like, sorority, partying, Okay. So your whatever. social life and, ooh, yeah. That's hard to balance. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. Got to keep it, like, you can't get too attached to it, though. I don't know. That's very, uh, what's it called? Fleeting, I guess? What does that mean? Like, uh, temporary. Mm. Like, it's fleeting. Like, like TikTok. <laughs> like, fleeting. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. At least get the, I tell myself, because I agree to not get, like, too lost in the partying and stuff. I just, like, as l- just get the degree, at least. Like, just get the degree. If you have a C, is D failing in college? Uh, it depends on the class. Okay. 
depends on the class. And I would matter, definitely figure out before going out. Like, <laughs> yeah. if you're struggling in a class, ask your advisor, like, midway through, like, yo, am I good? Am I good? Can, <laughs> I, can I get by with a D? I heard to do that, to go talk to your professors. I will do that. I'll go in and I'll be like, hey, how are you? Like, how am I doing in this class? I heard that that helps you out, like, a lot. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, there are different approaches. I, I'm more, like, under the radar kind of approach, like kind of sit back. And I mean, I am too, but some of these classes I might not want to be too under the radar. Like that. Good point. If I have to take an accounting class, I might want to be really good friends with my professor. <laughs> I'm <laughs> really good friends because yeah, I don't. Accounting's hard. I struggle yeah. in that one. I actually, <laughs> I got a D. In, that's that's one that you need at least Missouri State. That I got a D in it originally. I got like a 69 or something like that. Huh. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think I got a 69, and then that wasn't passing, and then I had to retake it. And I got a Ooh. way better teacher and got, like, a high B the second time. But it's hard is my, my overall point. I couldn't, yeah, that's what I'm nervous for, classes like that. But, yeah, just get the degree, pass the class, and then social life. With respect to you, because making friends with that uncertainty, especially as you're about to take on mm. – you know, like a new point in your life. I feel like that's what confidence kind of is, like being able to take on uncertainty and like not be, not shy away from it and be all overwhelmed and scared. Oh no, I'm so excited. Everyone says that they're like scared for college or just like leaving my parents, being on my own. And like, I know that like, again, I bring up my move, but like moving was like the same thing for me because I was with my parents less because I was trying to make new friends and I had to like put myself out there. Like nobody just... You think if you've never moved like in high school, it was like a weird time in high school, like in the middle of my sophomore year. People aren't just going to come up to you. They've already got their friends. You're just like a new girl. Like you have to like make yourself put yourself out there. But like and at first it sucks. But in college, like everyone's doing that. And I'm so excited because you like will meet so many new people. And like I like the new I forget what word we were talking about, but like how new everything is and how like I'm not scared for it at all. Like, I'm so uncertainty. excited. Uncertainty. I'm so excited. I, like I, was I like uncertainty. There. Respect. Respect. I think it's exciting. It's not boring. It's just, like, all the possibilities. Yeah. And you can get overwhelmed and kind of shy away from it, and, or you can... Embrace it. Yeah, it's adventure. That's yeah. kind of what it is. I love it. That. What's the feeling? Thrill, I guess? Adrenaline and thrill. I am an, I'm an adrenaline junkie. Really? And even though that's not adrenaline... It's like something like it. Like, I don't know. It's like a feeling that's like Like an adventure yes. junkie? Yes. New shit kind of? Okay. New. Like, I love it. Like, it's just like, sign me up, I guess. I'm I'm down. All my friends know that. They like, if they had to hit somebody up to do something like weird, I'd be like, yeah, okay. And like everyone else is like, I don't know. But I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Let's go. Uh-huh. In the middle of the night, they'll be like, okay, so Aubrey, I don't know this guy, but there's like this thing going on here. Do you want to go? And I'll be like yeah okay let's do it <laughs> and i'll just like be down for it respect and respect I like yeah and i feel like college is going to be full of that like you're just probably just really open-minded yeah that's kind of my reputation like to an extent as well i feel like it's good as long as you're not dumb i mean if you're not street smart i wouldn't go doing all that stuff but like if you're like pretty aware of like what your surroundings and like who you're with and like the possibilities of things that could happen and like what you're doing like, I feel like if you're, like, got a good head on your shoulders, like, it, it's fun. Like, mm -hmm. just, yeah. I mean, the wrong person could end up in a bad situation, but. Absolutely. I know. That's what, yeah, I was, like, I was very, very open-minded before. Like, I'd say back in high school, especially earlier high school, I, very, very open-minded, but I was naive. I feel like that's kind of the word you were looking for. Like, like yeah. I was stupidly open-minded and didn't think things through and, like, can I be in trouble here? Could we I be in danger? About that. I was talking about that with somebody last night. He's graduate. I was hanging out with the people that I was hanging out with. I don't know. And he's graduated, and he's got a little brother. Mm -hmm. And his little brother, I think, is a sophomore. And he was doing things, and he was talking about how crazy the sophomores are nowadays. And I looked at him, and I was like, you were just as crazy like i was like you were even worse than your little brother is but i was thinking about it and the, they were like doing things like there was no like parents at their house or something like that and like they were starting to get loud and whatever and all of us are like trying to be quiet like we we're just trying to chill like we were all just like literally like, hanging out like waiting for 12 like i went home at the end of it like we weren't like going crazy or anything and like of course the sophomores like no parents are home like all this stuff and we're just like all sitting there like wow they just like don't realize cops are going to show up and, like, we're telling the sophomores, we're just, like, dude, be quiet. Like, 
people are going to show up. And they're just like, there's barely any people here. And they're like going crazy. And all of us are just like not as naive. And we're just like, okay, but we've done this before. And they don't believe you. They're just like, no, they're just buzzkills. <laughs> and I remember because that's how I was with my sister. My sister would be like, Aubrey, stop. And I'd be like, you're such a buzzkill. But now that I'm older, I'm just like, yeah. They're naive. They don't realize what trouble they can get into and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. But I guess you kind of have to experience things to like not be naive at the same time. Yeah, I feel like, la- like being naive is like a lack of wisdom or like a lack yeah. of understanding. And like, ew, but what are you what are you naive about that you just don't realize? Me now? Yeah. I feel like it was more before. I feel like yeah. just but keeping how do you an know, open mind. Like before then, that you're oh, naive. Oh yeah, great point. No, that's a great point. Like, I guarantee Europe exposes me. Like I would have an yeah. answer in Europe. You know, I might be, I I might be overly confident right now that I can navigate throughout a country where I can't speak their language. Yeah. You, you know, like I'm going to have to figure that shit gonna out. Nobody's going to speak English. You're going to be like, "Oh." <laughs> and you've got like your whole 7 months to be there and you're just like, "So nobody knows English here." And it's like, "I'm kind of fucked." Okay. <laughs> That's how you got your tr- Google Translate out. It would work. I mean, that's what I'm kind of relying <laughs> on. Honestly, Google Translate is exactly. It's what not I'm gonna relying work. On. Yeah, that's what you're naive about. The fact that Google Translate <laughs> is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm so it. sorry. I, I, why did I just get smacked in the face? <laughs> it's like. What did I say? <laughs> Literally. You called. Uh, oh, what'd you call that guy earlier? Ugly? No, yeah. not ugly. A uh, loser. Loser. Yeah. <laughs> you called them a loser. It's like. Oh, in my country, that's cool. No, no. <laughs> yeah, it's you're just like I just want to know where the bathroom was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Because there are words that are like that. They'll be, like, close to an offensive word. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. Not even offensive. There's, like, a Spanish word. I don't want to say it because I'm going to say the wrong one. Just sound dumb. But there's, like, a word that's, like, close to a word for, like, money that also means something, like, kind of not perverted but something inappropriate. Mm-hmm. And, like, there's, like, a vague difference. And I could so see somebody that didn't speak the language, like, trying to talk about money and like talking about this other thing and yeah. like everyone's like what do they say <laughs> like it'd be funny though <laughs> from the other person's perspective maybe somebody's saying ship over here yeah. but they say shit or something yeah, like that and you're just like what do they mean <laughs> oh, they <laughs> say they they're trying to say about? can't and they say can't like <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> just like whoa yeah you they're trying to say you can't <laughs> and you're just like what they just <laughs> say <laughs> you, you just call you what <laughs> Give you the. I won't hit you in the face because you're you're foreign. So just say knows. it with an accent. There you go. <laughs> I get scared that everyone hates Americans, though. See, I I've heard both. I've heard that some people, some countries absolutely love us, and others like can't stand us. Which so one is Europe? I don't. I bet it changes. <laughs> I bet it yeah. changes. Oh, because there's know, a lot though. of countries. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. See, there you go. That's what I get scared of because I just like. With foreign like people, when I meet foreign people, I make American jokes. Like I'll be like, "Oh, an American," and like see how they react to it. Because I'm always wanting to know, like, do they like hate me? Like, do they like not like us? Like, you have no idea. I can't think because in America, I don't think I don't. There's a prevalent disliking of any sort of group of people, really. Trying to think, maybe. <laughs> maybe old groups of people, maybe yeah. Germany in the 1940s. We were I mean, yeah, not a huge there's fan people of them, like that. <laughs> no, no, I get what you're saying. North uh, Korea. Maybe, I mean, yeah, North yeah. Korea, maybe Russia. But uh, is America's looked at, looked at like that with like a lot of countries, or they think that we're like stupid and stuff like that. And so I'm always like around foreign people. I'm just like, I wonder if they're just like looking at me like, oh my God, it's <laughs> American. <laughs> this little white girl, like literally. But oh well. I always wonder the same thing. Because you get, you get a lot of different feedback, that's for sure. Yeah. I like hearing the feedback and, like, asking. I know they probably, like, foreigners probably get tired of, like, hearing, what do you like about America? What do you not like about America? And, like, but I love it. I love hearing what they say, and I like hearing what they think is different about it and everything. And 100%. And hearing, like, their stereotypes of us. I think it's crazy. I hear loud, obnoxious. I hear those a lot. Mm-hmm. I do hear obnoxious, fast-paced, and stressful. I've heard and that like as well, yeah. yeah. And then, like, I think I, of course, fat. Which, yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like there's other fatter people, though. Like, I feel like there's countries with, like, bigger people than us. But I guess we're just, like, not. Honestly, I wouldn't even know. I'm, I'm trying to think of where, like, other fat people would be. I just, like, I don't, don't want to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, like, am thinking of a couple, but, like, I don't want to say it, you know? But, like, that's what America's perceived as that. And, like, I could definitely see that we have, like, my 300-pound life and people like that. 
and like we have some extremes for yeah, sure. Yeah, we definitely do. That was something one of my friends that studied abroad, I believe in Spain. That's what they really observed. They're like there, there are no fat people. Everybody's yeah. in good shape. Everybody's healthy. Yeah, you Everybody's moved to Spain. skinny. <laughs> yeah, right. Literally, there's yeah. I've seen there are peop- places like I read a book. Well, I was supposed to read a book for class, and so like <laughs> that I got was the me in high school. <laughs> on this, I got the way. overview of it, and it was like um, about like somebody traveling the world. You might actually like this book. It was about somebody traveling the world, trying to find like the happiest places in the world, mm. and they wrote about like and they basically just found random people to stay with, like that they didn't know, and they would like base it off of like what they thought, and they would notice like the difference from the countries and stuff like that. It was pretty interesting, but there were places like that where it's like was it fictional or was it like I think legitimate. it was true. I would think it was oh, legitimate. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I can't remember what it's called. But if you just, like, look it up like that. But, yeah, it was, like, somebody lists, like, the happiest place. They, like, traveled everywhere. And they would, like, say characteristics of these people. Yeah. It was one of those books where, like, I chose, like, not to read it. But, like, when I listened to the class discussions, I was, like man this sounds like a good book i was like wow i should really read this this would be interesting that's how i just never did as well (laughs) yeah (laughs) kind of like the great gatsby i was like man this sounds like a good book (laughs) yeah yeah no joke no joke i had two (laughs) friends over uh this would have been thursday night and they were both talking about how incredible great gatsby is and i actually like got it for my birthday so a a friend bought it for me because i told him i made it through high school without (laughs) reading that and um yeah same deal same exact deal but the thing about high school is all the like all the good books get ruined because they yeah. make you read bullshit. Like Shakespeare, I mean, yeah. fuck you, Shakespeare. Your books are terrible. I've never read Shakespeare. I like moved at the perfect point in my high school. That's where I didn't have to read incredible. Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it happened. I honestly don't. But I never had to read. There's like tons of books. Like some of the most like prominent ones and I'm just like, nope, I never read that. Never had to. Didn't have to. Missed out. I'm perfectly fine. Like, I'll know the norms of it. But it will be funny. That Gatsby I did, like, I was there for Gatsby, though. Okay. Which was, like, kind of... I remember I was taking a test, and I had no idea that Gatsby died. Sorry, spoiler. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. And the test is, like, something... They were, like, how did Gatsby die? Or it was, like, more inquisitive than that. But I look up at my friend that was sitting at my table, and I was, like, Gatsby died? And she looked at me, she's like, are you serious? She was like, are you joking me right now? And I'm just like, okay, but what do you think the symbol of his death was? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I was the same way. I, I would just play catch up on every single, everything. Nobody ever knew. My essays, they were great. <laughs> like, it sounded like I read what it. What was it, Spark Notes or something? <laughs> yeah. or? I use, Spark Notes give you away now. Uh-huh. Teachers know when you use Spark Notes. Um, I'm trying to think. There's a new one that I learned in St. Louis. That my teacher told me to use. Really? Yeah. And, like, I love it. And I, I never get caught. Like, well, I never did. I don't have any more English classes. But none of my teachers ever knew that I didn't read a book. I'm trying to think. I can't think of what it's called. But it's, like, really r- reliable. And it's, like, very in-depth and everything. The funny thing is once I came to college, I started reading all the time. I don't – I didn't – I haven't this past year as much. But for, like, two, three years, I was reading, like, all I the time. I agree that it, get ruin- it gets ruined in high school. I have a theory. I have a theory that they want to give you – dumb books so that you don't fill your head with like the good information because there are some good books out there at least like i like nonfiction. i'm more of a nonfiction, but i mean there's some good fictions out there that aren't assigned yeah. through schools as well but there's a lot of cool information in this world and i feel like the schools don't teach like the actual useful cool. they yeah. stay stuck they do not modernize i feel like if they like mm-hmm. use new books that would be like more i don't know more um impactful Mm -hmm. more interesting i would probably read them if they were new not like oh my mom and dad read this in high school oh my grandparents read this in high school now i'm reading it in high school like i don't know maybe a few clack like classics sprinkled in there but like the great gatsby should probably be like read by people or like what's it called the what's the one the scarlet letter that was like i could see that one being carried on was that the the one with easy a yeah Okay, Wait, yeah. what? Easy A <laughs> with Emma, Emma something. <laughs> Emma, the redhead from Zombieland. Um, I don't know. I, d- I can't I think I of her think last name. W- Emma I Stone? Think when I, I think when that came out that I wasn't old enough to watch it. Okay. Yeah, but I do know what movie you're talking about. And I do know, it was about the teacher. Did she sleep with students or something like that? I never there saw it. I could be like so wrong. oddly sexual in that book. But I she can't wore remember like what it the was. A or something? Yeah. So that is n- nothing like... 
I guess that's what the Scarlet Letter is, but that would be like very modernized version. But yeah, I okay. think maybe there, maybe there's a parallel, but like I'm not sure. But like yeah, that, that movie might. related to the book. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I, whatever, yeah. I, whatever. But you you saw one and I read the other, so it's like exactly. Yeah. Now we're kind of trying to piece this <laughs> yeah. puzzle together. But yeah, probably around, probably relatively like the same idea concept thing. Okay. Maybe. That was the longest silence that we've had <laughs> in this entire episode. That's funny. I don't know how to feel them. What do you mean? Like, if there's a silence, I don't know if I'm supposed to be like, so, like. And that's the shitty part, too, because, like, not not shitty, but, like, the, the kind of bizarre part is you, I don't know, like, you're pretty comfortable with silence off air. Like, we were, like, sitting there watching TV. We'd, like, maybe talk, <laughs> yeah. and then five minutes pass. But here it's like you feel like you need to fill that <laughs> silence with something, and then it's like, I don't know, it's like a weird obligation. I enjoy it because most most of the time it's not silent, but there's something. It's not like uncomfortable. It's just like you feel like you feel maybe uncomfortable because like you feel like you need to be yeah, entertaining. Like, okay, or yeah. It's like what next? And then you're like kind of you search your mind. Like, so. <laughs> yeah. so. What do I say? Which, by the way, what uh, is that Rainbow Unicorn? No, yeah. that's not Rainbow this Unicorn. This is Cotton Candy. Okay. Cotton Candy. You know how everyone's, like, addicted to, like, nicotine and, like, jeweling and everything? Mm-hmm. No. I'm addicted to bang. I'm addicted to oh. energy drinks. I don't jewel. I don't – I mean, I don't care if people do. I'm not, like – I don't jewel. I just, like, I hate it. I, I can't stand it for some reason. My body just doesn't take it. But I don't blame you. Drinks, I don't blame you. I drink one every day. My mom buys, like, the big packs of them. She gets, like, the different flavors. We're in between packs right now, so I buy cotton candy because okay. it's my favorite. But I drink, like, Are bangs your two. go-to? They are. Zero calories, zero carb. <laughs> like, I know they're bad for you, but, like, they don't make you fat. So this is why I drink them. I drink, oh, my gosh, I love them. Cotton candy's the best. My mom loves them. I don't know. This will be my breakfast and my lunch. Like, oh, bangs really? will be, Yeah. And they'll just keep me going throughout the day. I can't, like, focus in class if I'm not drinking a bang. Oh, wow. Yeah. I guess I don't know what it is. It's probably a really bad habit to have. And they're not cheap either. They're, like, three bucks. They are are overpriced. Yeah. So if you have, like, one of those, like, every day. But she gets the big packs. Yeah. Right? But we're out right now. Oh, okay. But, yeah, she gets the big packs. Yeah, I know at Walmarts they're, like, $2 and, yeah, I'm, like, But the gas station is, like, two ninety seven. That's crazy. I'm just, like... Well, it kind of just makes me want to go get coffee, too, because I'm just like, why not? But I love my energy drinks. I get crap for them. Like, this, I knew this kid, and he was like, those are so bad for you. And I was like, yeah, I know. As he hits his jewel, but I was like, yeah, <laughs> pick your poison, you know. I like my energy drinks. I think that I think they make me, uh, like, a, a better person to be around, honestly. Okay. Like, it gives me, like, a... Probably just more aware. Yeah, more awake, more, like, personality can show. I don't know. I love them. Do you feel, like, dependent on them? No, not at all. Well, I don't know. I don't feel dependent on them. It's just, like... A day enhancer? Yeah, that's what it is. Because I was going to say, before I started drinking them, I would just, like, kind of be more mellow throughout the day. But that was, like, normal. And, like, now that I drink them more, I'll talk more to people and stuff, and I'll be, like, more in, like, a talkative, chitter-chatter, like, move, energetic, like put some like walk a little bit faster to my classes and I don't like depend on it but it like makes what I was doing before then better Mm -hmm. but it also I think they like low-key give me an like somnia oh really these these will keep you up I stay up till 4 or 5 a.m. and then get up at what time 10 so it's not that bad but like also sometimes I'll get up at 8 even if I get up earlier I'm up until like I'm kind of the same way I'm not that extreme but yeah, I'll I'll stay up to like two, three. TikTok makes that so much worse too. Really? I'll watch them and I don't even realize that time will go by, but it's like let's say it's a minute per video and I like watch twenty videos and like they go by short, so you're not thinking that it's like sixty minutes long. Or if you watch a thirty second video twice or three times or four times, you're not like oh I just wasted two minutes. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden it's really late and I can't. They make my mind go, you know, because I'm like watching them like thinking to myself, and then. I can't go to bed because, like, my mind's just up and it's going. And, like, my eyes are stimulated because they were, like, looking at the phone screen. And, like, I'll just be up. And now that, like, I get follows and comments and likes, I'll just keep refreshing. And I'll keep seeing, like, the page. Like, just keep filling up with new names and people following you and new comments and new likes. And I'll just keep refreshing and refreshing. And it will be, like, 
four fifty nine and I'll be like, All right, I'm gonna try to go to bed now. Like I should probably go to bed and I still haven't written my paper for mm-hmm. like a class that I need to write it for. <laughs> And it's bad, but these things do not help. But they do help the next day whenever I'm tired because I stayed up till 5. So I drink this, and then I stay up till 5 again, and then I drink this again. So I guess, I don't know. Well, I could, and I want to I wanna interject here because I could see some people judging you for like, oh, she's a narcissist. She's just looking at all this attention she's getting. Oh, no, it's but fun. But it's going to, it'll fade. It'll it's, fade. Yeah. Like, because I, I had the same thing with that account, like, that I was growing in. It like I mean the numbers go up and then you just get used to it if that makes well, sense. Well, that's well I told yeah somebody but in class said the same too. thing to me. Well, it's kind of like it's like weird like I don't know how to describe it's it. It's so new that's but probably why. But the first why. day yes the first day when I like went to sleep and had like I'm trying to think it was still like below a hundred followers not even like halfway like I don't know how many followers like it might have been because I knew I had like six, but I don't know like maybe right after I posted it it was like jumping to like twenty or something like that before I went to bed, and I went to bed. And I woke up with thousands and, like, tons of views and likes. And during class, I was on my phone during my one of my two classes that I have for the day. I could not get off my phone. And my teacher, love her, she's, like, my favorite teacher ever, is, like, telling me, she's, like, Aubrey, get off your phone. And she's, like, she can see my computer screen. And she's, like, Aubrey, your computer screen has been on the same thing for the whole class period. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. She'd be, like, talking. And I'd be, like, listening to her. But, like, I'd be, like looking at my phone because i'd be like watching like, these tiktok things it's just like going viral and i told her i'd be like listen did you explain her yes what, what i literally said to her yeah i did I, w- I told her i showed her the video because i don't know she's like one of those teachers that you actually like enjoy coming in like talking to so she w- i showed her and i was like listen miss oh i almost said her name i'm not gonna try to like say her name or associate her with or anything but i was like listen if you went to bed And then you woke up and you had some thousand followers and like all of a sudden you're like keep going up and up and up. And there was another kid in my class that made TikToks and the same thing happened to him. Oh, really? He was like, yeah. And he was like, he makes dancing videos. His videos are kind of cool. And he was like, no, that happened to me. He goes, I know what you're talking about. Because at first you're just like, whoa, what in the world? But he did say, yeah, you get used to it. And I was like, yeah, Miss Foskey. Oh, frack. But yeah, that's her name. But anyway, I was like, yeah, I promise. Like, it'll get better. And like I'm waiting on that. It has. What were her thoughts on it? Because she probably she's probably like your mom. She doesn't fully understand it. She's like. I think she's more hip. I think she's a little bit more hip. I think she thinks it's like yeah. Well, because teachers they're around students all day. Yeah. So they hear about everything. And like she, um, she didn't say much. She just really wanted me to get off my phone. (laughs) She was like, I think she like I made her take it from me. I was like, listen, I'm not gonna get anything done. Just take my phone. She's like, I don't want your phone. And I was like, take my phone because uh, I'm not gonna be able to get off of it, and I don't want to keep like checking it or anything. Take my phone. Yeah, you she did. Loser. <laughs> take my phone, you loser. <laughs> now give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah. I think she saw. I think she like understood a little bit. Like it wasn't like I was just being disrespectful. Yeah. And like was like, it's like hey, this major somebody. life yeah. event happened. I was like, Miss Postgate, look at this. Like, <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, but it has died down. But, like, yeah, if I'm bored, sometimes I'll just, like, refresh, and I'll be, like... And who knows? You, yeah. you tap into something else later, and you go viral again, and it's going to be, like, holy shit, this yeah. is just crazy. Yeah, going crazy. Well, even, like, I like checking the different... Because in TikTok, you can, like, check if you're, like, looking at all your activities, the likes, the comments, like, shares, like... Or not the shares, but mentions. And it was weird, because I didn't know you could do that, and I found out that you could. And it's kind of nice, because you'll get a notification that somebody commented... But you won't be able to tell because at the same time, like, 10 people followed you and, like, 70 people liked your post. So it's like you can't see. So you'll go to the comments and you'll be able to find it. And it said somebody had mentioned me. And it was weird. This weird, I don't want to say weird, this different person who had, like, I don't know how many followers, like, 20, gave shout outs. And he's, like, his face is, like, really close to the screen. And he's, like, today's shout out goes to Aubrey Albert and he said it like that and I was like watching it and I was like what in the world but it's like entertaining like just to see what you're like tagged in what people are saying and stuff and it's just that like is pretty wild yeah yeah I thought it was so weird I showed it to my mom that's what my mom thought was cool she was like oh my gosh I was like why does this make you like <laughs> why do you think this is cool some random dude in his basement <laughs> yeah. saying your name literally I showed it to my friend she goes "Ooh, so you're getting the hot guys out of this at least so I was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> no big deal or anything and then i liked it of course he's like oh and you like yeah <laughs> brush off the shoulders real quick he's like you liked it and i think that's that's like weird to me too because i'm just like 
I think of like everyone on social media. I just think of like the people that I know on social media. Mm -hmm. So like I imagine my friends being like, oh my gosh, you liked my comment. I'm just like, yeah, you mentioned me. <laughs> like I'm gonna like your comment. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I I don't know. Is it weird how it converted over to Instagram too? Because I guess I guess yeah. people are well, like going friend, in. And my friend told me to do that. I the one that was in my first TikToks. She was like, she's like super smart, and she was like taking this so seriously. She was like girl you need to put your instagram in there you need to like connect your instagram and i was like i don't know how to do that and she literally grabs my phone like signs in like does all those things and connects my instagram she goes there you go she goes now people will be able to click on your profile and find your instagram and like ever since then like whenever i first started tiktok i had like three that i had just hit three thousand so i can like kind of remember and like now, like I think this is most insane because I wasn't even posting anything, and now I have four thousand nine hundred and twelve. So that's yeah, like you're in gonna the hit past five thousand by the end of the day. Yeah, probably. literally, that's what's insane to me. Like I didn't even post anything on there. That's crazy. That's what's crazy. Wow, your next your next post is gonna have like twice as many likes. You know, <laughs> this weird like just like random people commenting. All my friends are gonna be like, "What in the world?" Mm -hmm. Like the people that I don't talk to anymore, they're gonna be like. Why is Scooter Girl 443 saying, oh my gosh, please like my comment. Oh my gosh, she noticed. They're going <laughs> to be like, why? What in the world? <laughs> I'm going to be like, yeah, never mind that. My cousins at Christmas are going to be like, if they see it, oh, I was thinking about that. Like, what if your family sees it? And they'll be like, is that? I don't know. They're going to be like, what in the world? That's a good point because you don't know how people are going to be engaging with you on Instagram where a lot more of your friends are going to see that shit. It's kind of, that's, like, the most unsettling feeling. That's, like, the most, like, the biggest part of this that makes me second-guess things is the fact, but I don't let it. Because when I was, like, when I was, like, in middle school, I had this YouTube channel, and I had, like, 56 subscribers. And, like, that's not a lot or anything, but I thought it was such a big deal because I was starting to get followers and stuff. But people would give me, like, a hard time for it, so I stopped. But, like, now I'm not in middle school anymore but like the reactions that you get from some people i think about it i'm just like uh, i go to school with people and i like think about it i was like i don't feel at school to see this or i'll be like people at school are gonna think that i act different or something like that or they're gonna be like oh she thinks she's because people already like they'll look at me and if they don't know me i'll get this a lot people will be like oh like i just didn't think that you would talk to me because i'm like a senior girl and like i don't know and i'll be like what like why like they'll be like i just thought like you thought you were cool or something, and I was like, no, like, that's not me at all. I bet and, like, a little bit it's with your appearance, too, because, like, you know, you're, like, the... People say I look intimidating or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I have blonde hair. That cannot help me at all, and I'm a senior. Yeah. I feel like the, the movie Mean Girls kind of, like, ruined it, yeah, you know? Yeah, ruins it for us. The, exactly. Yeah, blondes get a bad rep, but I get that a lot. I'll be like, oh, well, I thought you were mean, but she's okay, and I'll be like, yeah, I'm not, like, not, I'm not mean at all. Like, I'm actually pretty open. I'll talk to anybody. Like, I don't care at all. But I feel like this adds on to it, and people are going to be like, oh, she thinks she's so cool. And I'll be like, no, I actually think it's kind of... You want to hear You want to <laughs> hear a bias that guys hold towards women? Yes. I swear to God. I would love to. Okay, this is like, this is something I even anticipate. So, like, if, if I'm thinking it, my logic is, if I'm thinking it, then, like, other people are thinking it. And it's not like, this is like a dogma, but it's, it's more so that I'm anticipating this to, like occur okay but whenever i see like a pretty especially like a pretty blonde girl i'm like ah she's might be a bitch she might be a bitch i that's swear to god that's like what guys like they they guys think that girls have like a stick up their ass if they're like really pretty or something like, I kn but like i don't know i don't feel like girls like that do like i don't know i feel like you it's not that they do it's that they might have, like there's yeah. a higher probability are, of yeah. it because some people sense. have, like, egos and stuff. I don't know. But there's certain people, like, you have to think. I've learned this recently, just, like, talking to more people. You have to think, like, if you were that person or, like, people, people like, look at you like that. You know, like, on your other Instagram account, you have, like, a big following. So people could be, like, look at you and they'd be, like, oh, he has a big following on Instagram. Like, he thinks that's, like, he's, like, a big dog, like, all this stuff. And you're, like, you're the actual person and you're just, like oh yeah that's my instagram like literally that's how it is and that's how i see it i'm just like oh because you don't think you're special oh some people do i guess maybe that's just like me i don't look at myself and think that i'm like anything different i guess and that's what <laughs> i kind of anticipate like, personally i anticipate a lot of girls to 
especially if they have like a bigger following, like you're slowly starting to get. Actually, not really slowly, but as you're starting <laughs> to get, um, I anticipate them to be self-absorbed. And I that's like, to that. me, that's such a, not turn off like sexually, but like turn off in just vibing with somebody kind of way. More, yeah. Closed off to trying to approach, maybe. I yeah, yeah, that's a good that's a good way to look at it, too. I've, yeah, I've gotten that a few times, I guess. People, like, unapproachable. Unapproachability, maybe. It but you're, like, right. we're sitting here talking. We've been talking for X amount of time, and, like, you're real as fuck. And honestly, you're very, <laughs> you have a very, you have a, in my opinion, you have a better understanding of the world than I did at your age. I try. I feel like I've seen, like, mo- like more, like, I don't know how to more life experience than most yes. people maybe yes. okay more li- different viewpoints i've like experienced stuff that like i like interpret different viewpoints and like going to like doing these things that are like different than other people have has like made me think and i'm like a lot of people think i'm dumb which again the blonde hair probably can't help because that's another stigma they think girls are like stupid and like all this stuff and like sometimes i say ditzy things but i swear i'm not i swear i'm intellectual and i'm like actually like having real thoughts about something right now yeah, you're like a smart girl. You're a smart girl for sure. Good. By my <laughs> by my definition, I I consider you intelligent. I need to record intelligent. that, and now every time somebody calls me dumb, <laughs> hey, like, it's well, all, it's yeah. it's recorded. There we go. I have proof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dumb. Yeah. Every time, yeah. Every time somebody calls me dumb, I just spit them with facts. Not like bad ones. But I'll be like, well, do you, oh, you're not from here. There's like this gift education program that we had, and I'm just like, that's all I say. I'm just like, well, I was in gifted education, so <laughs> as a joke, but. And they're just like, I don't know how you got in there. And I'm just like, I actually don't know how I did either. But, <laughs> but I'm just like, well, I did. So, <laughs> joke's on you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was in gifted. I was in gifted. No big deal. I have anything. a friend, <laughs> and they, they always say I have the most AR points, which was like the most reading or something like that back in third grade. <laughs> yeah. Or I won the science fair or something like that. I, you my know? Lexile score was above average. <laughs> 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 that's literally me. Every time somebody does, that's all I can say. I can be like, well... I went to a gifted program on Thursdays, so no big deal or anything. Suck it. I was in the advanced math class. <laughs> yeah. No, not a big deal or anything, but like I was a year above my reading level, so. Do you know what surprises me too about like all the things you've said? I like obviously like that whole messaging that dude a video. <laughs> that that's <laughs> uh, as I've said like three times now. That's <laughs> crazy. But also, I I feel like most girls kind of especially like at your age like late high school like I are about to enter college whatever I feel like a lot of girls and I I would consider this a mistake base almost their identity or their belonging or something on like having being in a relationship oh gosh and oh they do are you, you know what I mean yeah. like they, they just you. really want that and I'm not even over exaggerate when I say I'm the only person without a boyfriend that is legitimate like I am not like I mean, there's girls without one, but within my, the within the s- senior girl social circle, every single one of them has a boyfriend. Like literally, I'll have friends over, and they'll all bring their boyfriends, and I will be the only one without a boyfriend. And it'll be like at my house, and it will be like a couples hangout plus me because <laughs> I just don't have one. But like I don't, yeah. But they, yeah, they. But put the crazy much thing, the you're not sitting like around and sorry to interrupt you. No, yeah, no. You're not. You're not me. sitting around like, but I want a boyfriend. Like, deep down no. inside. <laughs> deep down. I just shove it. I just keep shoving it deeper down. I mean, yeah, I cry myself to sleep at night about it. <laughs> but, but then no. I wake up to my TikTok following <laughs> yeah. and it makes me better. Yeah, it makes me happy again. <laughs> and if Some I start people feeling, see my worth. <laughs> if I start feeling very badly, I just check my DMs and there's somebody I can call a piece <laughs> yeah, of shit no, in I'm there. You know, for me, I don't know. Boys at my age is more like entertainment. I definitely, yeah, couldn't base. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't need one. I feel like a lot of girls at my age need one. It's like, it's yeah, it's like lack of independence or something. And a lot of girls gain that in college, at least by my... I feel like that's also why I don't get one, though, a boyfriend. Because I don't need them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. Because I am. I'm going to do what I want. Somebody told me that. They're like, Aubrey, I can never see in a relationship. And I was like, not offended. But I was like, why? I was like, what in the world? And they were just like, because I feel like you just do whatever you want and i was like yeah i was like why does that keep me from being in a relationship i was like why does that affect anything but yeah at the same time nobody wants a, nobody at this age wants a girl that's like doing whatever she wants yeah true yeah 
I'm not uh, gonna ask you if it's okay. <laughs> like, that it a lot of guys are intimidated by that, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Sadly, I yeah. wish they weren't, <laughs> but at the same time, I don't really. I'm not affected by it. I, I had something I was going to say going off of that, but I can't remember what it was. We'll give you some time. Oh, also. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, which, by the way, the camera died, but rest in peace. <laughs> Tear going down my face. But oh, I was like, the, the other thing is you're not on, like, I feel like a lot of girls, whenever they're like, I don't need no man. I'm on my independent <laughs> shit. Like, you're you're not, like, really, like, self-righteous about it. You're like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm chilling. Like, I'm chilling. I and am. I'm chilling. It's not, it's like, I don't need this. Uh, I don't know. You just, you have a really good mindset. And I feel like not many people have that mindset. Or they gain that mindset as they, like, kind of mature. Ahead of the game. No. Ahead of the I game. don't know. I don't know why it is. I feel like, I don't know. My mom's mentioned that, too. Just saying, like, how it's, like, because I'll complain about, like, the fact that because when everyone does have a boyfriend they'll like have something to be doing constantly and i'll be like hey you want to hang out and they'll be like oh i'm with my boyfriend and i'll be like mom like why like this is i just i just need a friend that's a guy that i can just bring to everything and she's just like she says that she was like well you don't need one and you don't necessarily it's not that i don't want one because that's like the girls that act like all independent and everything like oh i don't need a it's man. like deep down yeah they, they actually do, do want one yeah. or something and I'm just like, I don't like, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like not a priority, but it's like not something I'm against. And I, yeah. I have a friend. She she kind of reminds me of you. This is one of the few friends I've kept from high school, actually. Nice. She's like, <laughs> she's a really good friend of mine. But she's like been living, or she went to Old Miss, not a common school for people in St. Louis, which yeah. is pretty cool. Also really expensive, so. It's a nice I don't school. Know. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, uh, she moved out to New York City. After college, mm. like immediately after, and she's been living That's there almost a year and a half, something like that. And she's gonna continue living out there, just got a new job, and she's killing it. That's cool, yeah. See, and I bet a boyfriend would have distracted her, like, I bet, mm -hmm. like, that would have, like, had her do it. I don't know. See, and she's living her best life. Wow, New York. I could, wow, I don't know if I could do that. That mm, move there, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. That would be sick. I feel like, I don't know, I feel so little. <laughs> I go from living in Springfield, Missouri, where you, like, know everyone, mm -hmm. to, like, New York, where it's like, oh, that's so insane. That would be insane. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd like it or hate it, but it's one of those things. I'd experience it. Yeah, sure. yeah, I would do it. Too. Yeah, I would try it. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Something different. That would be, it'd make you appreciate things about Springfield, for sure. Like, less traffic. P people are probably more, like, laid back, less in a rush yeah. here. They're probably more polite here. You know, there are probably things you would appreciate. Then you stop idolizing things in New York like that. Because I feel like people from here were just like, oh, New York. I can't believe it's New York. I tell my dad, I'm just like, oh, my gosh, I want to live in California. And my dad's like, why would you want to live there? Because he he's moved around so much. And never in California, but he's lived in, like, big cities and tiny cities. And then he stayed in Springfield. And I'm just like, well, what's so good about Springfield? And he's like, well, this isn't my favorite place to live. But, like, big cities, like, they're not cut out. Like, I know... When you're from a place like this, like, you're just like, oh, that'd be so cool, but that's, you don't want to live there. And, like, yeah, it would make you appreciate probably more. But I feel like St. Louis size is perfect. Like, because you get, St. Louis is, like, split up into, like, parts of it. So you get mm -hmm. that small town kind of feel, plus you're part of a big city. Cause, like, that's a good point, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the community that I was in, everyone, like, knew business about, like, everyone. But, like, at the same time... There was, like, so many other people involved. Like, they knew, like, other people from other schools. And, like, I was new, so I knew nobody. But you, there was just, like, it was a huge city, and they didn't know as much. And then there was also the little town feel of it. And so I, like, feel like it was perfect. I fell in love with it. Ledoux is, like, what, 15 minutes from downtown? Um, yeah, like 20, 22 okay. on Google Maps, I think. <laughs> 22? Okay. Yeah. My, my bad. My <laughs> bad. That's a, for some reason, I'm thinking 22. Yeah. When you get on the highway. Okay. So it's like, yeah. So it's I'm like, like 45 to an hour back home. Like, I'm, I'm pretty damn far. Um, oh, Winsville. Winsville, okay. Mm -hmm. I know where Winsville's at. It's like I don't all the way west. Okay. See, now that's like technically, like, that's part of St. Louis. 
and like I don't know so you get the you know the Winsville group of people plus like there's people from all around that's like part of the big city that aren't that far from you exactly plus getting to see the arch like I'm sorry but driving to like downtown is so like rewarding like it's just so nice and maybe like people that have grown up there take it for granted and you're thinking about it in your head like yeah whatever but every time I drove and I saw like Ikea on the way home and I saw the arch and the skyline I was like wow this is so cool I was like I love living here on downtown or during the summer whenever we would just like cruise go on drives and my friend's jeep with music and stuff it'd be fun because like that's what I was looking at I wasn't like looking at Bass Pro or McDonald's, mm -hmm. like, you know, I loved it. It was perfect. That's awesome. That's awesome. And honestly, I'm probably the same way. Whenever I see the arch, I still look for sure. Like, I, I was thinking about this the other day because I have lived so far my entire life. I, I mean, because I spent the first 18 years of my life out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm, tr if I, I'm trying to, like, spit. Yeah, I literally spit <laughs> saying that. Oh, I'm disgusting. Um, I was going to say spitball, but I, uh, the irony. But I'm trying to spitball like in the amount of times I've seen the arch, and I'd say it's between 50 and 100, roughly something like that. Yeah. But like my point so being beautiful. is like, yeah, I still like I see it, and I'm like, wow. Like I still think like, wow. Makes me like proud to live in Missouri for once, because otherwise I'm just like. Uh, Half the people don't even know where we are on the map, but mm -hmm. we got the arch and it's beautiful. That's like when Kansas City people say Kansas City is better than St. Louis. You know how there's that rivalry? Mm -hmm. I'm just like, no. I'm just like, you don't even, you can't even compete. We have that arch. We have that beautiful skyline because I know they have a skyline too, but we have that arch. You can't even compete with that. I love getting into like, not actual arguments about it, but yeah, like if yeah. I meet somebody at like a party or something. And they're from Kansas City. I'll be like, well, I'm from St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> and then there, there's is. a lot of that at Mo State because they all meet here. Mm -hmm. They all meet at Mo State and Mizzou in a way. I've heard about that. Like somebody from Springfield was telling me, like describing how different the like, St. Louis people were from Springfield. And like you'd be surprised, but they actually like, I mean, you wouldn't be surprised, but like you'd be like surprised about how different people can be. And they told me, they go, and there's some weird rivalry between Kansas City and St. Louis. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, St. Louis is better. <laughs> and they just, like, <laughs> didn't understand it. And I was That's like, funny. I don't know why there is one either, but, like, it's just annoying that they think Kansas City is better because it's, like, obviously St. Louis. And then they think the same thing. Kansas City is, like, it's obviously Kansas City. Uh-huh. And, like, we're both, like, everyone's just, like, so loyal. And then the people from Springfield who are, like, it's, like, the third biggest city, but it's, like, nowhere near either one of those. They're like, we'll take we'll take a <laughs> bronze medal. We'll take <laughs> it on this yeah. one. They're just like, well, I went to Kansas City four times, okay? And I went to St. Louis five. And I, like, they'll be like, they're the same. I hate that. They'll say they're the same. And I'm just like, No. They're not the same. They're different, and they're cool they're for different, different reasons, yeah. for sure. Definitely, yeah. The shopping district, mm, I don't know. I used to think the shopping was better in Kansas City, but I don't agree anymore. What do you like in St. Louis? Like what, shopping mall? Yeah. Okay, well, my favorite shopping mall is not one. I like the Frontenac Plaza, but I, don't I think can't. I've heard of that one. It's, like, just luxury. Like, I, I don't shop there. I go there, and I, like, window shop because, like, like all, yeah, because all of this stuff, like, I'll go into Saks, and it's, like, all, like, high fashion. I love high fashion, like, stuff that you would see, like, those big furry coats that are, like, neon, like, blue and, like, long and, like, actual fur and, like, those crop tops that are see-through and, like, fluffy arms and, like, are high fashion that you wouldn't just, like, see people wearing here in Springfield. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And it's like $700 for like 7000 not 100 sorry, for like oh wow. crop top. That's like black. I'm talking about something I saw and I fell in love with, but my mom didn't buy it for me. Shocker. It's $7,000. <laughs> and it was like this crop top that was like black and like mesh. And it like, I'm sure it wasn't mesh, but like see-through. And like it was like fuzzy and stuff. And I was like fell in love with it. What do you think the appeal is? I don't know. I don't know why. I, it's like different. And it's beautiful still though to me. Like, it's, like, so different, but it's still, like, appealing. Because you know how usually, like, if something's different, you're just like, ew, that's ugly? Mm -hmm. It's, like, almost to the point where it could have been ugly, but it's, like, pretty still. And I love it. Do you like it because it's bougie? Like, is that, do you, even do you like that, like, bougie kind of style? I mean, I'm, yeah, I do. I definitely, uh, if I said no and people that I knew, like, heard this, they'd be like, yeah, whatever. But <laughs> I definitely do. I love being bougie. But, like, at the same time, you would never know. Like, I would have never, if you would have placed that 
top I, I don't want to say forever 21 because it like looked nice but if you were to place it at like dillard's per se and mm-hmm. like the woman's section you would have guessed like maybe like 70 dollars. you would never thought that there was like would you have loved it just as much yeah for sure i would so it's love not the it price even tag. more it's not no if i i can't buy can something that's yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah i can't own it if it's seven thousand dollars <laughs> When I, when shoes, shoes are the things that I think appeal to me with price tag. Chanel sneakers, oh, I would die for a pair. But, again, if they were, like, 20 bucks at, like, Payless, I don't think that I would be, like, oh, I want those, you know. But, like, the, whenever they're Chanel and they're, like, 1200 I'm just, like, yes, I want those. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Do you, do you like um, finding snags? Like, do you ever go thrifting? Um, no, I don't go. But, I mean, I have before, and I have thought it was cool. Okay. And, like, I just don't. In St. Louis, there were so many opportunities. Like, there were cool stores you could go to, like, on the loop. I forget what they're called, but they're, like, thrifting. Mm-hmm. And I would think that they were so cool. But here, I don't even know where we would thrift. I'm sure there is somewhere, but maybe I should start because that would actually be kind of fun. That's that's I something I, I – f- same deal. Like, I think it's a cool idea, but I'm not into it myself but I, I feel like i maybe it should works get out into for it. other people so i'm thinking yeah. yeah sometimes i'll see things and i'll be like wow that was cool i had a friend friend i knew somebody who got their prom dress at one of those places and it was pretty and it was like 20 bucks and it was like kept up with the other ones but it looked so different than the other prom dresses and it was like gorgeous and she got it from thrifting and i was like and that was the first time that i saw like it work out from something like that and i was like hmm like no way I might have to try it. I've never, like, maybe for a TikTok, I'll be like, my thrifting finds. <laughs> there you go. No. Yeah, I feel like good. I feel like it's one of those things if you, I don't know, just, like, the searching for treasure amongst a lot of Because sometimes shit, you can find a lot of stuff. B- a lot yeah. of dirt. But, I mean, what do you consider dirt, though? It's all you, personal to somebody, you. Yeah, I was going to say, what if, like, I'm trying to think of a brand. I think that, for example, Thrasher. Like, I'm trying to, that's a very bad example, but let's say, like, it's 50 years from now, and, like, your kid, you have a kid, and they see that you have a Thrasher hoodie from, like, back in the day, and they see, like, a Thrasher hoodie at a thrift shop, they're just like, oh, that's so cool, like, that's retro, whatever, and, like, that that looks cool to them, but somebody else might not even know, like, what that is, Mm -hmm. and, like, it would be, like, a fashion statement or something, I don't know. But, like, sometimes I'll find, like, really cool, or those guest things, I'll see guest shirts a lot like at thrift stores whenever i've gone like three times but i'll see them a lot and they'll like turn out really cool and i'll see like people with actual ones that aren't thrifted and like i don't know the thrifted ones are just as cool i'll have to go interesting next time i'm bored in springfield do we have any thrift like i know we have thrift shops i went i forgot why i went but i went at some point in time i went a few it was a few years ago but yeah there are a few are they good? They're, They're not around. like Goodwill or something like that. Like it's like the same concept, kind of. It, it's gonna be something. I don't know. You could always spend five, ten minutes in there too, yeah, and then it, it's like eh, this isn't my. This isn't what I'm looking for. I also have this weird thing about having owned products, like somebody else had it. Do you like it or no, not like it? I care. Like really? It, I don't know. It makes me feel weirded out. Mm. If it's like a shirt or a crop top, only if it's like because I can't even think like if it's a turtleneck or like a. Long, if it's like something compressing, I don't think I could. Like I'm just like too much of a where's this been kind of person. Yeah, that's a good point. Like I don't know. Oh, you're Even it, if uh, I watch it, certain <laughs> like, things are gonna gonna like just drive your mind crazy. Well, yeah, like what what could they have done while they were doing like wearing this? Like mm-hmm. what if yeah? Even if you wash it, I don't know something about it. But like if it's like a short sleeve crop top or something like that, I'm I'm like I can chill with it. I'm just like okay, it's a flowy piece of clothing item. I don't know. Yeah, I'd assume like girls' jeans are gonna be hard to f- be able to fit too. That's true. I are mean, they more personalized? I I just don't know how I that works. <laughs> if I don't think they're like, they're, I mean, there's sizes. It's like a shirt, pretty much. There's like a different a range of. It's not like small, medium, and large. It's like zero, two, four, six. I think it's like the same as men's, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. How do they judge? How do they judge like the butt? Like, the know. butt versus, you know, because, like, you might have, like, the same size thighs as somebody, but I a different size butt. I think it just butt doesn't or? work out for some people. I have a friend, God love her, uh, she's a track star. I don't know, because we don't wear, like, we wear two different size, like, jeans, obviously. She's got 
huge. Like, she's got, like, a pretty big butt. And, like, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's why people ask, how'd you get that butt in those jeans? I don't know. They're all made the same. They don't make them, like, different or anything like that. They make them, like, short and tall. But, like, I don't have that problem ever. I don't run into it. So I, like, mm-hmm. never really think about it. But I could see. I don't know. A lot of kid like, girls will, like, pop up. So I guess it just doesn't fit. I guess it just, like, sucks for them. Oh, well. So you got to try it on before. I don't. I'm too lazy. <laughs> I just that's know my size. That's how I am. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. I just know my size. I'm just like, yeah, that's good. Or I'll have the other day when we were sho- I was shopping Fingers in St. Louis. Yeah. I told my mom, you try that on for me. And she was like, yeah. And she just tried it on and I looked at it on her and I was like, eh, I don't think I like it. Like my own <laughs> little personal person. That's what I need to do. That's what I, I just need to have somebody like that's my size come with me. And I'm be like, can you try that on for me? Because I don't want to try it on. I just, I, I'd rather sit down. Yeah. So you should like stand up and go can do it Can you model for this for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Ask one of the workers. I'll be like, so I know this isn't part of your job description, but, like, can you try this on really quick? Literally. I bet they would. It's like, I'll get you away from your boss. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who okay. knows? They, it'd be something different in their job. They might yeah. actually like it. Who knows? I would say, yeah. If I was at a clothing store, yeah, no kidding. Get me away from my supervisor. I'd be like, I'm going to go help this customer really fast. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? I do the same thing. I always try to ride out. If I get a cool customer, it's like, I'll, I'll kick it with them for a little bit. Hey, we're buddies, right? We're friends <laughs> yeah. for the next, like, 20 minutes. Cool. Help me out. Yeah. <laughs> there it is again. The yeah. silence. <laughs> do you, but what are your thoughts? you want to keep going? Like, I'm down to keep going if you want, or? I don't, yeah, I don't care. I need to see. Was somebody calling you? Yeah. <laughs> she was, like, a lot. Mm-mm. That's good. Okay, just my mom. Okay, cool. You just gotta tell her you're still alive. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm still <laughs> safe. <laughs> she's like it's calling showing. me off the hook and just like not picking up. She's like, oh my gosh. Because mm-hmm. I went, yeah, she's probably like, what in the world? But I mean, I'm not really in a rush to get anywhere. In the same way. I might actually check my phone. Uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing I need to like be urgent to. I'm actually, I, have you ever been to Friends? It's like a karaoke, karaoke bar. bar. I've never been there, but I'm going there tonight. I'm excited. I have never been, but. I'm trying to sing some karaoke. I don't know if I'll be any good, but I'm going to give it a go. And my my f- sister goes. I don't think I'm old enough to get in. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I have not been to the bars yet, but my sister goes, and I think she th- said it was fun. She has a good time. I can imagine that it'd be fun. I'm thinking the same thing. Just Something singing karaoke do, yeah. in public. Like, I'm Chilling. somebody, like, I could do that completely sober. Like, I'll have fun with it. Oh, I could never. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could as a joke, but, like, I couldn't, like, I'd be, like. Actually try to get it. Yeah. Which I don't know if I would actually try to get it ever because, like, I know that, like, that I wouldn't get it. But, like, I would put more umph into it, you know. Maybe, possibly. I, I don't feel know. like I would I don't sing know, with passion and not yeah. with talent. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it, though. Passion, not talent. So sweet <laughs> Caroline. It's like the fifth grade talent show. Yeah, put more into it. <laughs> Sorry. Just out of curiosity, how long do you think we're going, or have been going? Um, an hour and a half. It's been longer than that. It has? For how long? Two and a half hours. Two and a half. Yeah. I was going to say, I know how long like I've been here. Yeah, my mom. <laughs> she's like, Aubrey, what are you doing? Call me ASAP. Like, she was like, apparently she's been texting me. Send me your lo- I was like, <laughs> I'm still there. And she's like, send me your location. I shouldn't have sent her my location when I got here. Because uh-huh. I bet she didn't even know. Like, that's a thing. Now I'm going to get, send me your location a lot. And I'm uh. like, mom, <laughs> like, I can't. Which is fine. My, my parents are pretty, they trust that I'm not, like, getting myself into bad situations. But, like, currently, I'm sitting in the basement of somebody's house that they don't know. True, true. So, <laughs> podcasting, or so it was presumed. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be I'm my new excuse for things. <laughs> I'm, I just keep thinking of your mom as viral, but sorry, wait, wait <laughs> yeah. what do you mean, like, an uh, excuse for what? It's like, if I am somewhere, I'd be like, Mom, I'm at a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm just Chill. doing another podcast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people are hitting me up all the time ever yeah. since this TikTok thing. No, you can't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't find it anywhere. 
No. It's actually, mom. It's your fault. It's your fault. You're the one who helped me go viral. So it's I've your been fault. yeah. I've been trying to make more videos with her. I just posted one the other day. I think. Do you? You said that you don't. There's like a video that's like. Wait. Uh, I don't like cussing, but it's like, wait, bitch, wait, bitch, wait, bitch, wait, bitch, don't start, because I'll beat your ass in the dark. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Have you heard that? No. Okay. Well, they do dance to them. They like, there's this dance that everyone does to it, but I can't dance at all. So I made this video, and it was like, because I love having my mom in it, because like low key, that's like where the hype comes from. And so I was like, when, because people do comment, mom showing the age and stuff like that. And I think it's so funny. Or they'll be like, yeah, a lot of Botox will make you look young like that or something like that. So I, like, had her acting like she's reading mean comments. And then I come in, like, I went and saying, like, I'll beat your ass in the dark or whatever. And I think it's it's my favorite thing to make the videos with her. I think it's so much more fun. And she loves it, too, because she just, like, feeling like she's a part of something. She's like, yeah, let's make the video. That's awesome. She That's gets, cool. Like, yeah, she gets so into it. That's fun. It. That's a cool little uh, hobby to share with your mom. Yeah, it's fun. It's It's for sure fun something different yeah mm -hmm. she's like not in like a weird like way but like that is my best friend that sounds like kind of mushy but like it's like a different relationship than mo most people have with their parents you know because it's not like those people were sh like oh she's like a friend not a mom it's not like that but it's just like it's my mom that's also my friend you know that's how yeah that's but how i see my yeah. mom as well so it's that's pretty yeah. cool because i feel like that i feel like i was always like pretty cool with my mom but i feel like i've gotten more to where she's like my friend who's also my mom yeah. since college too so that's pretty cool that's yeah i feel like that's the way to be i mean i don't know i feel like being laid back as a parent is the way to go honestly especially in high I school the ones that try to control the kids that is those are the ones that get fucked up yeah, yeah. those are the ones <laughs> that go crazy yeah especially whenever they get released to college yeah exactly they don't know what to do it's weird, though, because I was kept in a straight line, like, all throughout elementary school and middle school, which I guess one would do, but, like, not, like, more so than the other kids. Like, I was I was known as a kid that had the strict parents, and, like, now it's just, like, I'm the one with the most, like, laid back, but not, like, in the sort, like, I don't go crazy or anything. It's just, like, if I don't call right away, like, my mom's not flipping out on me. Like, no, my mom doesn't have my location 24 7 she doesn't know that i hit 90 on the highway like because like the apps nowadays like i feel like even the seniors like their moms are on life 360 like they know everywhere they're going they know who they're with my mom doesn't constantly need of course she asks me like i don't just like walk out of the house and be like see you tonight maybe maybe i'll come home maybe i won't who am i with you have no idea but she's not like send me a picture when you get there like yeah, yeah that's weird that's too much too much it would make you hate your mom almost like i couldn't like i would be like that's when people start lying like you make me want to like lie then because i'd be like i didn't want to be with a guy right now but maybe i will be yeah yeah 100%. i'll send you a picture of the friend that i'm with but i'm going to get picked up by some guy that you hate now like I your motives know. become like rebellious yeah or like spiteful or revenge seeking yeah I like it. The relationship that we have, though, like, I like it. It's very, like, good. It's probably very honest, very yeah, transparent. Yeah, very, yeah. I don't really, yeah. I, there's nothing I have to lie about. If I have to lie about it, I know this is, like, something you're told when you're younger and you don't believe it, but honestly, if you have to lie about it, you probably shouldn't be doing it. And, like, yeah, I kind of stay yeah. by that. If I, if I have to lie about what I'm doing, if I ever felt like I couldn't tell my mom what I was doing, I'd be like, should I actually be doing it? That's some real me? shit, honestly. Yeah. That's a, that's kind of an indicator how good your relationship with your mom is that's pretty cool and if the answer is no then you probably shouldn't do it <laughs> like it's mm -hmm. probably a good indicator yeah that maybe you shouldn't be going there doing that thing because yeah plus she knows again you just can't be naive because that's when you get in trouble i feel like that's a good point i bet i bet some girls have like strict parents or just some people in general and you know, they're doing some really fucked up shit just because their yeah. parents told them they can't, whatever that may be. Or, like, yeah, if they have a curfew that's, like, of 12, and so they get, like, a chance to, like, defy their parents' curfew, so they stay out till, like, 6 a.m. just because, like, they're rebelling, like what are you doing till 6 a.m., you know? It's like, like, I literally sat in a church parking lot for, like, two hours. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Literally. <laughs> yeah. Can't be that fun. Like, yeah. 
But if, like, because I don't have, like, a curfew. My mom didn't give me one either, and, like, I turned out. Like, I think that helped me so much. Because it's not like I'm just, like, stumbling in at 6 a.m. Like, it just means that I'm not hitting the gas on my way home, you know? Like, guys, I got to go. Like, what time is it? What time is it? Like, honestly, if I had a curfew, I'd just probably get in trouble more often. Like, because I would, like, be late. Yeah, I'd be late, too. I'd, I would push the boundaries. I know I would have. <laughs> like, I would have, if it was 1 o'clock, I would have gotten home at one twenty, And then... The next day, one thirty. Exactly. And then <laughs> yeah. they, they're, like, just mentally trying to make their expectations lower and lower and lower. <laughs> yeah. And then being like, well, I'm going to do what I want. And then it'd be end up me staying out as late it. as I yeah, want. That's yeah. the way to do it. That's, yeah. And, of course, I got, like, I don't know. I think my mom would probably have a problem with it if, like, consistently I was coming home at, like, 5 a.m. and stuff. If I came home at 5 a.m., my mom would probably be like, what were you doing? Like, what were you doing? You're out till 5 Mm a.m. But, yeah, I don't know. As long I feel like, like you said, there's pretty good honesty and transparency that she's, like, not thinking that I was doing anything. She knows, like, what I'm doing, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good. I wouldn't change it for anything, yeah. Yeah, that's that's... Something you, if you have it, you gotta appreciate it for sure. Yeah, no kidding. And I don't feel like I don't know how to, like, I don't know, I don't know how to appreciate it, you know, like her, but like I do, I swear. (laughs) Like, no, it sounds like you do, just by the way you're talking about it and your tone and whatnot. Yeah, I definitely, especially when I hear like my friends with their moms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll be friends with them, but they still like, because me and my mom argue for sure, everyone does, but like the way they do or they'll be like texting their mom and like you'll see like part of them's like oh like if she won't if their mom won't let them stay out or something i sound so young saying that but like if their mom like is telling them to come home they'll be like oh blah blah blah, and they'll like get so heated and like i don't know i feel like that creates like a feeling towards your parent kind of and i'm just like yeah resentment resentment i'm just like or like but i don't understand that at this age if your mom's not letting you spend the night somewhere like your friend's house like i think that's weird but yeah, I never had that problem. It's like I don't know. But during yeah, during middle school and stuff, I was a kid that would be like, I can only hang out one day a week with you and stuff. It like literally like just switched up. That's crazy. But I feel like yeah, I feel like it was kind of like, it wasn't calculated, but I feel like it kind of worked out perfectly though, because like during middle school, I feel like maybe some people like start going down certain paths, and I like didn't because I couldn't. And then in high school, it was just like, I kind of just like didn't have any like stuff that stopped me from being able to hang out with friends whenever was possible you know like I didn't have to like miss out on anything but I also was like you know not like getting into bad stuff it's like a good balance yeah interesting interesting so yeah that kind of worked out for the best I guess are there any topics that are like off limits with your parents not really really I can't think of any any of them there's nothing. Uh, the one thing I won't talk to my mom about much is like girls. That's yeah, like the I only was gonna thing. say. I, I just it, like I'm open with it, but I just kind of don't feel like talk having that conversation. That's Especially like more like with my dad. I don't mm-hmm. talk to him about boys at all, but I don't really like have much to say. Mm-hmm. Like my mom will keep up. Like if I'm talking to a guy, or if I'm talking to like talking to guys, and like I have these guys that I think are cute, and I like Snapchat like different guys she'll be like kept up to date on like who i'm snapchatting like oh i he asked me to hang out today but i'm not and i might hang out with him tomorrow and like so and so wants me to hang out like this weekend she's up to date on stuff like that but i could never like i don't know i couldn't tell my like i wouldn't go up to my dad and be like yeah so this guy asked me to hang out today and i'm texting this guy and i left him on delivered and then he left me on open like i don't know like i couldn't yeah yeah but with he probably wouldn't care neither. I mean, I, I don't know your dad, obviously, but he probably doesn't care. Or at least hey, that much. He probably much. doesn't, but, like, I don't know. It's just, like, not a conversation I would have, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Like, you're talking about the comfort level. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Not, like, uncomfortable, just, like, I don't know. Like, I just wouldn't. I feel like that's definitely, like, more. I Would you be more inclined to talk to your dad about girls than your mom? Or no? Probably more my mom. Seriously? Yeah, probably more my mom. I feel like my mom's a better listener, but yeah. both of them. I'm pretty, like, taboo. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of reserved on that topic. Yeah, I Everything else I'm, a b- I'm an open book on with my parents, but. Again, I don't have a lot in that. My, yeah, I don't have a lot to say about boys to my parents. I talk about other people with boys to my mom. Uh-huh. That's what I do. I'd be like, you'll never guess what happened. 
but which is the best part. But I don't really have much to say on that topic about too much. Parents, am I right? Parents. Ah, parents. <laughs> Gotta love them sometimes. That That's a weird part too, because like we were saying, like the uncertainties of the future. You know, once you kind of get past high school, once you get past college, it's. It's like, holy shit, you could go and become a parent right now. And that's oh, so gosh. wild to me because I'm, I'm not, that. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> like, close what? to that point of my life still. Like, I'm not I near mean, there. I mean, theoretically, yes, you could mm -hmm. become a parent. But, oh, that'd probably be the worst fate, too. I think about that all the time because it's not even like, I, I think, like, pregnancy early, like, premature, I think that's just, like, an unluck thing. Like, of course, like, it's your fault. But still, there are so many irresponsible people out there that that doesn't happen to. They don't get prematurely pregnant, like, without planning on it. Mm -hmm. And I just think to myself, because I don't, like, get myself in a situation where I can get pregnant. Like, I'm not like that. But I just, like, feel like I, I would just be the person that that would happen to. Like, I'd get a boyfriend or something and, like... Which, maybe not. But, like, if I did, I feel like I'd be the person that just, like, accidentally got pregnant. Right, like, early. Yeah. Just, like, unlucky. But I have a friend in high school. This is crazy. Th apparently, so she claims that she lost her virginity to him. Fast forward however many years later, they have like a three, four, or five year old, something like that. Oh my god, what? Yeah. So, like that time she got pregnant? Yeah, or first time. See, that's just like unlucky. Yeah, that's what right. I'm saying. I think it's going to happen. Like, I feel like I would just be the person that like got that unlucky. Yeah, right. I'm not worried about like, oh my gosh, like. I might be pregnant. I don't know. I don't know who the dad. I'm not worried about like that, but I'm worried about like that. Like, okay, you lost your virginity to someone you got pregnant. Like that sucks. <laughs> like it's not like you were sleeping around, and like just like it happened to you. You know that yeah. would stink. Well, that would suck. That would suck. That would be a life changer right there. Yeah, I've always. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I've I've always felt so much empathy for that girl. I could not. Yeah. Ooh, getting pregnant. Ooh, nope. That's another thing. I would not want to have a kid until like. I was set in stone in my ways, like settled down. Like I feel like it's no a mindset, and I'm not in that mindset yet. And I feel like it's, I well feel like you I have an idea. Be, yeah. Like you have it. You have a general idea. It's not an age thing. I want to be like, like successful, mm -hmm. but like not just like successful and like I have money and stuff, but successful as in I've traveled and like I've seen everything, and like I've done like the things I want to do, and like. I don't know. I just feel like I'll be so old by then. Like, I feel like I'll be too late to, like, have a child by then. And I still want to experience that. Maybe. I don't know. That's what I'm worried about, too. It's like, I feel like I feel like it's going to be between 30 and 35, if I had to guess. I don't know. Which I have no fine. idea. I think that's, like, the perfect age, honestly. But then if you want multiple, you got to... You got to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to you gotta put some pep in your step there because, yeah. But then uh, another part of me, it's like, ah, like, do I... Do I even want multiple? Because uh, I yeah. think I think I kind of want one or two, maybe maybe two, so they two. can entertain each yeah. other. But like I feel like once you start getting three, it's like you can. What I don't want to do is lose myself in my kids. Like I want to keep pursuing what I enjoy. I want to I want to have some flexibility, yeah. some freedom in my life still, so still I can have a life. Yeah, exactly. I don't want my kids to become my life and raising those yeah. kids to become my life and. I'm not I, my my parents great people fantastic people and I'm I mean this is a very common archetype in I guess like trend that I'm anticipating and I could definitely imagine happening to like a lot of people is your kids go off to college they're gone and you're like what the fuck do I do now I've been spending <laughs> yeah. majority of my time time predominantly focusing on these kids it's like. I, yes. I want to have my time diversified and like yes I want to focus time on kids but like also not yeah, other shit lose everything that's I worried about my mom with that like whenever I move she's gonna be like are you the Whoa. last one uh huh Ooh. I'm the last one there's a 31 year old who just had a baby not just he's two but that's just to me he still seems new yeah and my mom's obsessed with him like she watches him all the time and stuff like that that's gonna be her saving grail right there when I move off. She's going to be like, she's going to become like, that's going to be what she pays attention to. But yeah, when I move off to college, whew, I don't even know. I'm mom's little girl for sure. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's going to, she's going to be in Arkansas like every week, I swear. 
It's just going to be like the thing because I have, I'm living in one of those pods where, or quads. I keep calling them pods and everyone's like, what's that? But, <laughs> like uh, a jewel pod? Yeah. I'm just like, no, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're quads where you have your own room because I have to. Like, I'm what, like, what does that mean? It's like split. They're like suites. So they're split into like three s- or uh, three sections basically. And like in the middle is a living area. On the right is two bedrooms. And on the left is two bedrooms. And like so there's four girls. And each of you have your li- own little sector. And like two people to a bathroom. They're kind of nice. Like oh, that's kinda, sick. Yeah, that's sick. Fish, yeah. Then you got a common area. And then you got a common area. Oh, that's so like not you bad. Guys can, not bad at all. But I can just imagine, like, it being, like, 8 a.m. on a Saturday here. And, and I, like, open the door. And my mom's like, hey, just wanted to surprise you. How was your night last night? What's up? Like, literally. And, like, me having room to, like, entertain her. She'd be like, I'm in your bedroom. What's up? And uh-huh. I'd be like, hey, mom. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? But I, no, I would love it. That's, like, what's kind of nice about Arkansas, though. It's, like, a two hours. That's nice. It's not far at all. That's what so I've noticed like, on, like, the drive to St. Louis. Is I know you've done it before as well. Right around like two, yeah, probably, probably, honestly, anything after two hours, you start getting antsy. You're like, come on, I want to But like get the home. more, the more you drive, the St. Louis drive, the first times you drive there, I feel like it's such a long drive. But the more you drive it, it's like, I'll play on my phone the whole time, and I'll be like, oh, we're home, okay, like literally. Yeah. But yeah, two hours, two hours is so much closer than three the hours. Midpoint. Yeah. It's like I'm halfway there. Especially like I'm three and a half because I yeah. live and outside of yeah yeah like outside of uh, St. Louis so. That extra half hour adds a lot yeah. too. That I, like, extra I mean, half hour is like basically two hours in feeling. Yeah, like, I know it's almost. I mean, it it is damn near close to double the drive from here to Arkansas. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. See. Yeah. I you have like, some good yeah. nature there too. I've I've it's I've beautiful. done some hiking there. It's I very hiked, pretty. When I went down to visit the school, do you know the Whitaker's Point thing? I've never been there, but I've heard of heard it. Heard of yeah. it? Well, I had a cast on still. I had a boot because my foot was still broken. This is a funny story, actually. This is like a, a story. And <laughs> so I go there, and we're on our way back from the school. It's me and my dad. And it's like, it says that the trail's like three miles, I think, there and back. I could be very wrong. But it's like 1.5 there, and then you turn around. And I have my boot on, so it's like pretty hard to like navigate. But mm-hmm. we're thinking it doesn't sound that far. So we're just like, okay, whatever. And so we take that trail, and it ends up taking, like, a long time. But I got a couple Instagram pictures, my most liked picture on Instagram, gang, so it was worth it. Gang, gang. But on the way back, I told my dad, I was like, we need to hurry. It's going to get dark. And I'm like, literally can't walk. I have a broken foot. Like, it was a bad idea. I don't know why. I was like, yeah, let's go. Like, How, how much are you trail. hiking? The whole, like, Is up this to a that big hike? cliff. It didn't sound like it because it said one and a half miles, but it was like oh, actually kind of like up uphill. stuff. Like yes. up, up a fucking like mountain. Like it was like kind of hard with my boot on. <laughs> like it was like, but it ended up getting pitch black. There's no service out there and we can't see. So we're like walking on the trail and we get lost. Like I'm like, cr- my dad's freaking out. When your dad freaks out, that's when you freak out. Like he's starting to like cuss and everything because we can't find where we are at all. We realized that like we had like wandered off the trail and we didn't know how long we had wandered off the trail because it was, like, pitch oh. black. And you couldn't see anything. And, like, I literally thought we were going to have to, like, stay out there. But then I remember that Google Maps was downloaded, downloadable, or Google Earth was. And my dad had it downloaded on his phone. So he was able to see, like. Oh, like really? Yeah. But it was so scary. Like, I was, like, crying. Like, I was so scared. Yeah, and there were bugs crazy. everywhere. So it was, like, I don't know. Like, I love nature and everything. But it was crazy. But it was beautiful when we were there. Like the cliff and everything, you should go hike it, and then imagine I you having a boot on and doing it, and I was in a dress. I was imagining that while you were saying that, like he is so your broken bone is like contained in this, and what it's like I've never had a boot, so I don't know what it's like walking. Like, is there pain like, no, in the break? Not really, I mean, mine was like right under my toe, so like a very inconvenient place. Like for the your big toe. Yeah. Oh. So it was like kind of inconvenient. But also kind of easy to avoid putting pressure on. Absolutely. Especially in a boot. I hyperextended my toe. To do, you don't yeah. realize how much weight yeah. you put on your big toe. It's crazy. Yeah, it was like very unfortunate. Yeah, but everybody made fun of me because I did it by basically a soccer balls here and I step. I like I'm extending, and then it bent it too far backwards. Ow. Yeah, right. That sounds like it hurt. It yeah, uh, it definitely it hurt, but I got a, I got a lot of shit for it, and I like took it well. Like I laughed it off too yeah. with them, but I was also like, dude, like you guys don't understand this. Like <laughs> seriously, like the worst injury I've gotten. Like it sucked. Because it it's sucked. an important part. This 
you can't sprint. You can't video. sprint. I don't play sports. I couldn't wear heels, so. <laughs> <gasps> that was a big deal. Yeah, no, no. That two school dances, because I went to two homecomings, and I was like, damn, because I couldn't wear my heels. I was like, that sucks. And all the other that girls did, I looked so small. But now I can wear, he I can wear heels again. I didn't think I was going to be able to. But I just, like, you have to, like, push through the pain, and then, like, the pain goes away. Wait, wait, are you talking about your broken toe, mm -hmm. or are you talking, or with heels, just heels in general? No, with my broken toe. I mean, yeah. No, because, like, right where it bends, where you wear the heels, is, like, right where my toe was broken. So, like, it hurt to, like, bend it in that way. Mm -hmm. But, like, it wasn't going to break again, and I w the heels would hurt so bad. But I had to wear them for, like, some ambassador thing that I did. Right. And they were taking pictures, and I had to wear heels. So I kind of just, like, pushed through the pain then, and now it doesn't hurt anymore. But somebody told me I would never be able to wear heels again. And I was so scared. But I guess they just, like, didn't push themselves hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have the resilience <laughs> yeah. that you do. They just don't have the resilience. It's yeah. about it's about the mindset. <laughs> yeah. And y you got the mindset. They don't. Try They're to behind. Keep persevering where my <laughs> Literally. Well, if, if you're going to, like, the prom or homecoming. Heck yeah, you said homecoming. Uh. And if anybody's, like, hating on your boot and saying they like the girls in heels or something, be like, but they can't kick like me. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. This will hurt a lot more. I yeah. got a cast iron boot on my, my a, foot. I had a guy come up to me one time and be like, I like your kicks. And, like, because he was making fun of my, well, like, trying to, like, make fun of my boot, like, cutely. Mm -hmm. And, like, the bottom of it is red. Like, the bottom of my boot was red. And I was like, yeah, it's my red bottoms. And I just called him that all the time. Wait, like, wait, what does that mean? That That's a brand, like right? I don't know. I th it's like I don't think they're called red bottoms, but some like very expensive shoe, and they all have red bottoms, and that's like what they're like known for, and it's like luxury and like just like a really nice brand. I think it's Louis Vuitton. Lou Louis Vuitton. Aren't However jokes just so much better whenever you have to explain them? They are. I feel like I killed <laughs> it. I feel, I feel no. like there was somebody at home <laughs> laughing because that no, that's witty. That's really creative, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my red bottoms. Okay. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, I wear my red bottoms. Yeah. That, yeah. That's good. <laughs> like, it's funny. I just feel like I can't laugh now. now but that it's you're, it's now funny. That you know. It's yeah. funny. I use the same thing with my Volkswagen. People will ask what kind of car, and I was like, yeah, that's my V-Wagon over there. Like G-Wagon, but V-Wagon. I don't get it. I'm you sorry. don't know what a G-Wagon is? What's a G-Wagon, no. Oh, my God. That's like, oh, I love G-Wagons. They're like, it's a Mercedes brand. Okay. And it's like those box cars. Kylie Jenner has one. A lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but, like, they're those Mercedes that you see, and they're kind of shaped like Jeeps, almost. Okay. And they're, like, really pretty, and they're called G-Wagons. And I call it my V-Wagon. It might be one of those things I see and I'm, like, yeah, familiar you with, just don't but... Know. You've probably seen one. Okay. I don't see them around Springfield that often, actually. But, really? like, yeah. But, like, I know people here have them. Like, I've, I don't know. I don't see them that often. I feel like a lot of people, like, they're very hit and miss. Like, my mom doesn't like them at all. She thinks they're ugly. Because I, like, want her to get one so bad. I'm just like, get a G-Wagon. <sighs> but I have to call it my V-Wagon. I like it. Close enough, yeah. My friend calls his, he would always call a shitty car a Ferrari. Yeah, basically. <laughs> this is my, there's somebody. But yours is witty. His is just, like, he's, like, clearly making fun <laughs> of his old yeah. car. There's a, I had a friend with a Mazda Rati. <laughs> he was like, gotta get my Mazda Rati. <laughs> <'cause laughs> That's funny. Mazda. Yeah. That's funny. I thought that one was cute, yeah. That's creative. Yours is also creative. I like those, though. I think it's, yeah. I think it, like, makes it better. And sometimes people won't hear me, like, correctly. So they'll be like, you drive a G-Wagon? And I'll be like, um, no, I drive a V-Wagon. And I'll be like, what? And then they'll see it's a Volkswagen. And they'll be like, oh. <laughs> you, should, you should, yeah, you should be like, you don't know what that is? And they're like, no, no, I don't know what you that is. What, what is it? And be like, is. just wait. Just <laughs> wait. It's like a regular car. <laughs> it's like a Jetta. <laughs> They're just like, oh. And I'm just like, yeah, no big deal. Just disappoint them. In college, because I already asked, somebody, I already had somebody ask me what kind of car I drove. And I thought that was like an irrelevant question. I was like, why do you care? Wait, in, in college? Or? Yeah, that I'm going to go to school the next year. I, I feel like it depends if it's like a superficial thing, you know? Like if, they, if they're asking I think it was. to kind of find out how, how rich you are or something, yeah. it's like, fuck off. Well, I thought that's what it was, yeah. And I was so tempted to be like a V wagon just to see if <laughs> they heard it. <laughs> oh, they would never be like, heard of what? it. What? They would think that I said G wagon first. Google it. Like, Google <laughs> yeah. it. Just, just go and Google. They'd be like nothing came up, and I'd be like, yeah. Well, uh, I just sent him a picture. 
Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, I probably need to wrap this up. All right, cool. You want to give it like five more minutes? Yeah. Cool. How, well, what did you think of this experience? I like to ask people because it's cool y that you can provide somebody a, like this experience for the first time, especially with the headphones on. I, I like think it, it adds a lot. It seems like so legitimate. Like, I know mean? it is, but like, I don't know. It's like you see like talk shows and stuff like that. And like this is if I don't know. Like, you're, like, talking right now. Like, it's a radio show. I, I don't know. I've just never done anything like this. I've seen people do it. And, like, when you actually do it, it's, like, a different experience, you know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I like it, though. I think it's, like, different, cool. It's more of, like, my – like, if I could get paid to do this in the future rather than, like, have a job, like, that would be so much better. And I know everyone probably thinks that. It's, like, kind of the dream, right? Yeah. I was going to say, I know that's probably not, like, an original thought or anything, but – I like it. Do you enjoy doing this? I'm guessing if you've been doing it. Yeah. Yeah, this is, um, I think it's the most sustainable hobby I've tried. Like, I don't I don't see myself getting bored of this because I always enjoy talking to people. And it's something different every time. Exactly. It's yeah. It's doing the same thing every day. I don't know. I've had, uh, yeah, just <laughs> such a wide variety of people. And like you were saying with, like, the open-mindedness, I've always been open-minded on new experiences, new perspectives on the world. And different kinds of people. Like, if you look at my friends, my friends are all over the place. Like, all over the place. I feel like that's good. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I've, I, I mean, I could, like, elaborate on that top, like, that, that thought more. But, mm -hmm. like, my friends are all over the place. And I absolutely love that. I love that. That's and what Springfield misses. Yeah. Like, that's what they don't have. Diversity. And I want to continue growing that and just keep getting, mm -hmm. I don't know, just unique people and... I don't know. So, yeah, yeah, I, I love doing this. I absolutely and love doing this. It makes me very happy. It's a really cool hobby. Good, keep doing it. And, yeah, it's just a, it's a cool way to connect with people. Different. And it's also, it's opened me up to way more opportunities that I would have had than I, than I would have had otherwise. And I've, I've, I have more friends now than I've ever had before, which is kind of a weird thought. Like, makes you just sense, meet I people guess. from yeah. doing this. And, like, a good example is my friend texted me yesterday, which this doesn't happen all the time. But he's like, hey, man. I have a friend who thinks you he would be a good episode in your podcast. Like, I literally did nothing, and I was like, yeah. Like, I'm open to talking to anybody, so. See, that's cool. That's going to segue into, we're already, like, making plans for when I go home to St. Louis uh, for him to, like, come over and do a podcast, so. That's super exciting, yeah. Yeah. See, that is a fun hobby. Plus, it's, like, different. It's not. People ask you what you like to do in your free time. You're not just like, oh, I hang out with my friends. Oh, like, I play video like, games. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I like making podcasts. And people are like, what, really? Like, something different. Something, like, unique, individual to yourself. Absolutely. Character adds a little bit of character. Because, like, I, if I really wanted to right now, I mean, I could talk on, on that question alone, which I usually give people a very brief summary. But I could talk for, an, like, literally a full hour, hour and a half about just what this podcast has taught me. How I've gotten better at this. Like, I think I'm going to be more successful overall. Like, I think I'll be better at whatever career I choose. Definitely. Uh, I don't know. I just I just think it's given me a lot of skills. Like, I've learned more from doing this than college, to be honest. Yeah. I feel like this is, like, what you were saying at the very beginning. Like, what you get out of college is, like, the books and everything. I feel like, yeah, most of it is, like, talking to people. And success. I asked my dad. He works in, like, business and stuff. He will tell you it's all about like talking being a people person talking to the right people saying the right things like it's less about what you know it's more about how you know to do it like interesting yeah like being able to talk to people like gets you so far in like career fields and stuff fingers crossed there you go that's a strength of thought i hope is, i hope yeah. that's true i hope that's true oh i believe it definitely like i don't know being friends with people being able to be easily likable easily personable like i don't know I feel like it is very a good success trait to have. Absolutely, and I, I, that's since you want people to have a good experience, so that you can make like good content on this. Like I was saying earlier, like my goal is to make people feel comfortable. Yeah, and that kind of reflects in my daily life too. Like I, th I think people like being around me. Like I, I yeah. not that I'm like super proud <laughs> I mean. of that, but like <laughs> I'll be the judge of that actually. I would yeah, <laughs> no. I yeah. Probably. And I, I feel like they like being around me more now than they did 
before doing this. I don't know. I just think I got my point being is I think I've gotten better with people. You seem to have a good energy. Thank you. Yeah. Easily obtainable to have a conversation with. Not like uncomfortable at all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. People same like to you, me. same to you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're. Uh, I, I go. I never have any expectations, but you were. I, if I had to describe you in a few words, real as fuck. Really wise for your age. Really wise for because <laughs> we're a few years apart. Like it, when are you? When are you? You're 17. Turning yeah, when's I your turn birthday? 18 next July. Next July. Oh wow! So you're like yeah, six months I'm away like still. Yeah. See, I'm 24. Like that's that's a pretty big like age yeah. jump, and you're very very mature. Uh, yeah, very wise, very knowledgeable in the world. I, th- I feel like you've, like, thought, like, well, you could tell that, you think yeah. through, like, <laughs> what you're saying before you say it. And I've open-minded. I think you're that. very open-minded. <laughs> yeah. I would teach myself to think about things before I come out of my mouth a few times. But, <laughs> yeah, catch myself off guard. But, yeah, I guess those are good things. <laughs> well, cool. Any last thoughts? Uh, no, but I did enjoy this. Hell, yeah. So thanks Same. for having me. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely.